in Tamil Nadu uh, on the steering committee on solid waste management. He um, is also the project director and consultant uh, for solid, uh, solid and liquid resource management at Indian Green Service, an environmental protection and service organization. Um, he, you might have also seen him on a um, very famous Satyameva Jayati episode. Um, he is currently work, working in, uh, on a project in Ambikapur, a city in Chhattisgarh. Um, he is uh, trying to make Ambikapur one of India's <coughs> first garbage-free cities, um, using um, scientific, holistic, uh, self-sustainable, solid and liquid resource management model which he has conceived and developed through years of research and field work across the country. And he'll be talking more about that today. Um, uh, also, uh, we have a sign-up sheet for uh, our mailing list. So if any of you want to re receive uh, more information about our event, um, the Boston chapter meets at 2 p.m. on Sunday. Uh, at MIT uh, every Sunday. So, uh, without further further ado, um, we welcome Mr. Srinivasan to the staff. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for this opportunity. Uh, this is my second visit to Boston. Uh, 2009, I came here. I just want to know what's really happening uh, happening in the US about the garbage issue. So. After that, I got a chance uh, uh, nearly six years later. I'm just coming back to again US and uh, I'm seeing a lot of changes in US also. Uh, so, today uh, we are going to discuss about a very important topic of uh, for solid and liquid resource management. While I'm coming last time, I'm, I'm using the same thing, but it's I call it as a waste management. So, in the last six months, uh, six years, a lot of changes happened in India. Uh, after working with garbage for 15 years without knowing the real face of garbage, we work with garbage and finally uh, we end up with a lot of mess and finally we understood the the real uh, value of garbage so today i'd like to share with you about the issue of solid and liquid resource management so uh, first time 1997 i touched the garbage at the time we call it as a garbage composting project then by 2000 uh, sorry 1999 again we changed some of the uh, uh, no, approach in the waste management and uh, we call it as a solid waste management. Then by 2001, while joining with the District Rural Development Agency, DRDA, along with the government department, uh, we changed into solid and liquid waste management. By 2005, again, we brought a lot of change in that and call it as a zero waste management, nothing to be disposed, zero discharge. Then by 2006 and 2007, we called it as a garbage to gold. But every time, one thing we missed, every time we call it as a garbage, waste, kachra, trash, rubbish, all these negative words, words we used for this. But we forgot to use very important word, it is called raw material, it's a resource. Without knowing that, we used all negative words. Whenever you use this word, people are not ready to listen to this. I'm happy that so many people are here to listen about garbage today. <laughs> if it is some other topic, they will, they will be over to crowd it. Whenever you're talking about garbage, nobody is ready to listen, first of all. Second thing, uh, it's a dry subject and uh, it's not uh, familiar with everybody. They're not going to enjoy with this garbage. But today, I think uh, you all will enjoy about this garbage because a lot of money is hidden inside. Crores and crores of money is hidden inside. Job opportunities are hidden. Environmental protection. It's multiple benefit is inside. If you go and touch the garbage subject in any, any country, the country will totally change. That is the one thing I like to share with you here. It's the main switch. If you go and touch this subject, garbage subject, then it will bring a lot of changes in the national level. So here um, we are going to uh, talk about the uh, solid and liquid resource management. By 2005, the first time I got the, uh, sorry, 2010, 2010, first time I got to know the real face of garbage. I went to Mysore and uh, related to waste management. And uh, while I'm discussing with the commissioner, he told uh, women self help groups are involved in this waste management in Mysore. So I was really surprised to see the ladies involved in waste management because in Bellore, we involve women self help groups, BPL families, below poverty line families join together as a self help group. They will go and perform in this waste management. So really, I was surprised to see how these uh, ladies in Karnataka, they are involved in waste management. So I went to the spot by 1130. Not even a single ladies is, I found there. 
it hasn't what about the self group you no know, no they taken the project they sublist the project to other people so that time i was really surprising uh, this is a self group uh, project uh, they should involve directly in this project why they should give to other people then i went to the president of the self group and uh, discuss about this issue and she simply told yeah we have only taken this contract from the municipality and uh, we sublist this project to other group then they told uh, uh, they they collect every year every month they will send the bill to the municipal corporation take the money and deposit in their account 75% of the money will be given to the people who are taken as a sublease and 25% they will use it for their own development and then they will go for door to door money collection and collect the money and deposit in the account and that money will be again given to the people who are working there so again and again i am asking uh, why you are not involved and uh, one particular time she got totally irritated and shouted sir you are not from the community <laughs> that word she used openly so then i was realizing the problem so she simply told we are not from that community that's why we are not involved all these 15 years sir, we work for that uh, we saw a lot of papers plastic covers cardboard metal glass rubber leather whatever we found everything we found uh, we never found the community there in the garbage now new community is coming out so the community issue brought me to think about this garbage again and again finally after this uh, we will start to plan why people hate the garbage why people are didn't uh, you know ready to hear about garbage the first reason is it is stinking it's smelling and it looks very ugly seeing and also a lot of small worms megas will come out a lot of flies will be there in that area it attracts all the animals in that area and the people don't want to see and listen about garbage that's the so whenever you say garbage immediately the face will shape the shape will change the reaction will be to totally different because each and every person exposed with garbage somehow somewhere in their lifetime because of that they don't want to listen in the garbage so now we start to rethink about the whole garbage after 15 years of life and then finally we come to know before it got smell why can't we handle it for example whenever people die uh, less than 6 hours if you remove the eyes from the body it is useful that means nature given a clue that any material is going to destroy it has a time frame before that if you handle it properly it is not a garbage it's not a waste that means uh, whenever the people die less than 6 hours if you remove the eyes it will be useful for eye donation after 6 hours totally it is waste the same concept we start to use here also that means uh, less than 2 hours time if you collect anything from the residential area it is not a garbage so that is the thing we are going to do uh, so the whole project is been named into solid and liquid resource management before going to this previous version of this this is a sixth version what you are saying is a sixth version and uh, what happening in us is a fourth version that is waste management all the vehicle i saw wm wm means waste management that means we wasting all the material and then we are going to manage it before it's going to get wasted if you handle it is a resource management instead of putting resource management in us you are guiding wrongly to the entire international community whatever you are doing here in us it's reflect everywhere any part of the world whatever you are doing it's, it's been copied by people in india immediately how whatever you wrong things you are doing that also reflect us so the waste management concept to be totally changed into resource management so before going to the resource management i like to show the previous version garbage to gold then we can go for this so small video clipping so garbage to gold generates about 100,000 tons of mixed waste every day mounds of waste ranging from household waste medical waste garden waste and construction debris usually this waste is just left lying around in the areas of human habitation posing a serious health hazard to all particularly to little children sometimes it is collected 
and ends up in landfill sites, usually in the outskirts of the city. Often it is burned, thereby compounding the health hazard with an environmental disaster. The government has approached solid waste management as an engineering problem rather than as a social or an environmental issue. Thus, making the management and disposal of this collective waste a big challenge. Municipalities in India spend about 70% of their solid waste management budget on waste collection, 25% on transportation, and only 5% on disposal. In nature, there is no such thing as waste. What is given out by one system is taken in by another. Let us now see how this simple process of recycling after segregation of waste has inspired one small town in the heart of southern India. This is Velour, a quaint little town in Tamil Nadu, surrounded by 256 hills and placed along the banks of the Palar River. This was a program aimed at redesigning the town's resource flow as a self-sustainable project, taking us closer to zero waste. This was also a commercially viable model that would actually turn garbage to gold. As remarkable as it may seem, parts of the city of Tamil Nadu have achieved 100% in zero waste management program, where the garbage is as valuable as gold. A task that might seem impossible in our country, but has been accomplished in this Indian city with the support of the citizens of Velour and a remarkable workforce. The Christian Medical College, one of India's leading medical colleges, known for curing the most complex diseases and ailments, is where the Zero Waste Management Program was first initiated. It was to keep the area neat and clean, to achieve sustainable zero waste management, to demonstrate 100% resource recovery from inorganic waste and organic waste by involving self-help groups. We generate about eight tons of waste uh, every day. So at present, we actually have 250 workers on the project. Some of them are involved in collection and others work at the waste uh, segregation site where we bring the waste, segregate it, clean it and have it ready uh, for selling or uh, composting. And these people come and take it out, uh, not only the hygiene is maintained, but also the fact that uh, the degradable uh, pro products like these waste which you get from the vegetables or the fruits, all this has been used in a very, very scientific, a very proper way. The brilliant success of this program at CMC was then further replicated across various municipalities in Velour town. Initially, five town panchayats were selected and their uh, public awareness was created, people were distributed with the dustbins and then uh, neighborhood committees were formed, tricycles were uh, purchased and uh, uh, sheds were constructed. And it started with a good response from the people. It had been a good model and because of that, if you see, the town panchas are pretty clean, the areas are clean, garbage management is not as big a problem. So what is this program all about? Zero waste management begins with an initial survey of an area to calculate the number of residents and determine the amount of different types of waste generated in the area. First of all, so identify and uh, identify the people in that area and get the support of 40 percent. Then, by showing our interest and step-by-step uh, -step process and uh, uh, awareness, arranging the awareness meeting and all, we get another 20 percent of the support. Once the project is getting installed, at time we will get 80 percent of the support. It's awareness generating programs to educate the residents on both biodegradable and non biodegradable wastes. The list for biodegradable wastes reads biodegradable list is This 
Yellow model is uh, very simple and uh, effective because it's a uh, user friendly and error friendly. There's no much machines being used in this process. Maximum is technology, local technology is being involved. So easily it can be carried in other part of the nation. Methodical segregation of all the waste collected is the key to the success of the zero waste management program. This is carried out by self-help groups following methodical schedules. A supervisor, three workers and one price cycle is dedicated to every 250 to 275 families. The modus operandi is very basic. One, separated and sourced into two broad categories, biodegradable and non-biodegradable. And two, collect the garbage as soon as it is generated. The segregated waste is collected in the compartmentalized tricycle cart and transported to the zero waste center of that particular municipality or panchayat. Here, waste is scientifically recycled and successfully processed. This segregated biodegradable waste is then brought to composting sheds and treated in two stages, namely cattle dung microbial decomposting and biogas production and worming composting to produce rich organic manure. The resulting organic fertilizer is sold in the market, giving rise to a whole organic farming industry. The non-biodegradable waste is also segregated separately into 133 recyclables. These broadly include different organic wastes, paper, plastics, aluminum, rubber, glass, and some non-recyclable materials. Each product is thoroughly separated out, cleansed, and then sold to buyers who deal with the particular recycling. Once we start to collect the garbage day one, then we start to do a detailed study about each and every part of the garbage and then try to identify organic, inorganic, recyclable, non recyclable, then uh, try to find the market for that. Adequate training is given to workers and supervisors with a focus on maintaining the systematic routine of waste collection, secondary segregation, processing and sale. Effective training is also given on how not to let segregated waste accumulate at any point in the process and have the routine run smoothly. Every worker is entitled to regular medical checkups and is also provided ID proofs and uniforms. The recyclables are sold to buyers with the best prices. In the existing model, where the local administration manages waste disposal, the salaries of workers, collection process, transportation and dumping of waste into open land costs even a small municipality in Tamil Nadu around rupees. 4.5 million every year. Now, let us compare this with the economics of a typical zero waste management program, zero waste management scheme. Annually, the expenditure on salaries, costs on equipment, and other resources and miscellaneous costs add up to only rupees 1.35 million. Now, add to this the total income generated from the collection of monthly subscriptions, the selling of recyclables and compost. And this amounts to over rupees 1.4 million. Thus, on an average, up to rupees 70,000 is a net profit every year for a typical municipality. Moreover, this does not include the social, environmental, and health benefits from turning waste into wealth. Another success story of the Zero Waste Management Program worth appreciating is the project of Gandhinagar, a residential suburb in Vellore. The project here covers 15 wards, over 3,000 families, and employs 9 tricycles, 11 supervisors, and 25 workers. Segregated garbage from all the families every day weighs about 3 metric tons. The zero waste center is built inside the town panchayat office, and the panchayat is fully paid. This whole program required a fair amount of education. Uh, one of the easiest ways by providing two bins of two different colors, the green saying you put your organic waste and the red being where you can put the inorganic, your plastics and your paper. The message of the success of the program is being spread across the region in colleges, institutions and the citizens of Valor. In fact, the movement is now spreading to other regions across the nation. More and more institutions are incorporating the Zero Waste Management Program in their campuses, influenced by the positive effects of the program, as in the case of Tantai Periyar Government College. 
a program that is being launched with complete support from both teachers and students. The Garbage to Gold Zero Waste Management Program in Kalor is a perfect model for government and community to realize the potential of waste management. It is the learning from this little district that one can share with the entire nation to make it a cleaner and a cleaner country and also to make the process a viable business. If a district like Velour can do this, so can all of India's 604 districts. The basic principles of zero waste management. Segregation is the key. Collection of segregated waste needs to be immediate. Further segregation. Resale of the sorted clean waste to specific buyers. Manual labor involved needs to agree to do the job and feel good about it. Waste generators, the households, need to be involved so that they understand the importance of segregation and accept the feedback. Waste is a misplaced resource and an unorganized wealth. Hence, waste is not waste. Don't waste money on waste. Make money from waste. So, what you've seen is a nearly 10 year old uh, subject. So, right now we are going to discuss about the latest issue. Before going to that, I'd like to show how this waste generated and what are the problems it's created now everywhere. Normally, we keep all our unwanted material in our dustbin in the residential area, like maybe kitchen or uh, dining hall, whatever the place we keep the dustbin. Once it gets full, we try to bring it and dump it in the roadside dustbin. Until then, it will be lying in our own dustbin. Only. And finally, it comes to roadside dustbin like this. So it will be overflowing. You can see uh, sometimes uh, the dustbin get full and sometimes it get decomposed or some trees growing on the dustbin. If it is going to the rural area, we uh, will see that a lot of trees growing in the dustbin itself. Because there is a dustbin provision is there. There is no provision to remove the garbage from the dustbin. If it is urban area, weekly once or once in 10 days, they will come and remove. And now totally the scene is changing. In the in the dustbin, near the dustbin, you can see the plastic pouches, plenty of plastic pouches. They throw all the garbage in the plastic pouch, bundle it and just simply throw it out. Every year I am seeing the changes in the dustbin. Initially, it looks like a weltering size. Now they become a permanent uh, bigger tank so that the garbage can stay for 10 days. It's easy for them to come and remove it. Then they brought a metal drum like this, even the headquarters of India. And you can see the drums where the cattle come and roll it down. Again, the, they put the big, big metal dumpers. Again, once it purchased here, they brought the dumper placer. Again, big truck is purchased to just carry the drum into the large truck. So again and again, the expenditure is going high and nothing going to be recovered from this. And through this dustbin, you can see all these people will be lying around this place. Once the entire garbage is collected, finally it will be disposed here. This is called, uh, you know, first it's uh, burial grounds. Wherever there is a burial ground, around that area there is a lot of space. So people go and dump the garbage nearby. Or it will be in the water bodies. They just cover the entire water body boundaries. Slowly they are covering the water body because it's a slope. So nobody can see the garbage outside. And then they will throw the, through the railway tracks. They are 20 feet belongs to railway department, several kilometers. So they just simply go and dump the garbage near the railway tracks. And there is highway roads. And then you can see this is the uh, nearest villages. And they will set fire. It will be burning several. So this is a garbage dumping place in Tamil Nadu. This is a UN's uh, tourism place, Karekudi. 27,000 families garbage, last five years is dumped here. 14 acre land is used for dumping like this. This is one big landfill. It's a dumping site. Landfill site is totally different. We call it as a dumping site, open dumping site. It's a 14 acre land. They just bring the garbage, they simply dump it and go. That's all. It's a 27,000 family. Five years, 14 acres is over. Again, they're searching for the new place. 
which is 60 km away from the city, they have to carry entire garbage and dump there. If it is uh, worst case, people set fire to the dumping site like this. One single day, the entire garbage will be get burnt. Most of the dumping sites, if there is any changes going to come, suddenly somebody set fire, finished, the whole area will be burnt. And it will be burning for a week together. And end of the burning, you can see this. Completely ash is remaining. It's very dangerous than that. Because it's easily flying. All hazardous materials, everything is burnt and it is lying there. And if it flies, it will carry through the dust to everywhere. And now, its practice is simply they will come, dump, and set fire and go. Now you can watch all the organic material is burning, <coughs> inorganic is burning, plastics, hazardous. There's a lot of ink in that screen printing. That ink is burning. Again, the chemicals, everything get burnt. And this ash will be remaining there only. The latest trend is they put all the tube lights and set fire. Before that, they just throw the tube lights. Nowadays, they put the tube lights also in the fire. That means the mercury inside the tube light. So also get burnt. Whatever reaction is going to give, nobody knows that so far. Whenever the people dump the garbage through the municipal trucks, you can see the people. People living around that area. Their livelihood is through this garbage. They simply come and they're just waiting for the trucks to come. Once truck comes, everybody jumping towards the truck and they pick whatever it, they'll take it. That's their livelihood daily basis. That's all. So all families are living in the same place. Animals, people, everybody is there. Stinking, total stinking. Because it's all one week, 10 days old garbage collected from the roadside dustbins. From that, they have to pick and work. The same people, they give proper medical facility, proper training. Scientifically, if you design this project, they are ready to work. They will be happily working. A lot of money has been spent by this type of big big missions. Whatever the lorry is done, immediately this mission will come. Take the garbage and throw in the boundaries. That's all. For that, one hour, 2,500 rupees rent for this mission. It will work for 10, hour, 10 hours a day. 25,000 rupees going for the mission. I can't just, just spend the same money for this people. Make it as a scientific design. Just simply throw the garbage on the people. This is a beautiful place, Northeast India. A lot of mountains are there. Now they're building now more and more garbage mountains. Hmm? Gohati, Assam. So whenever the garbage is dumped, the cattle will be roaming here. They are all picking and eating all the garbages. And finally, you can see this type of scene. So we found a carcass in the forest. We need to know why this bull dead. So just we tried. This is already decomposed. And we got, got 40 kilogram plastic cover in the stomach. The cattle got four stomachs. One is first stomach capacity is 300 liter, where the entire plastic cover just hold inside and uh, keep on uh, loading inside. One particular stage, cattle will get collapse. And it's all carry bags. And we tried to do some operation and uh, remove the plastic cover from the stomach. See the ball. This is packing in the first stomach. But it's packed like this. Layer by layer, it's packed. It's very complicated to remove the plastic cover through the making a small hole. And initially, we thought we can make a small cut in the body and remove all the plastic cover like this. It's not like that. It's just packed. Whenever you just remove the plastic cover, the whole carcass is coming. Whole cattle is coming out. That means you have to cut the full complete uh, stomach. Then cattle never survive. 
So just see that how how much layer it is. And even small calves are dying with the plastic cover because these are all milk pouches. Most of the small calves they are eating the milk pouches because the milk smells very well and they, they cough like milk. So they are just eating the milk pouches. And this is a cattle carrying 80 kilogram plastic cover in Jodhpur. Just walking slowly and uh, lost a lot of energy. So all these things happen because of one reason, because uh, we throw all these vegetables through the plastic covers. Nowadays, people start to dump the garbage in the wells also. All abandoned wells, people start to dump. Initially, they dumped only debris. Now they start to dump all the municipal waste also. That means the tube, the, you can see the tube lights, all organic material, all decomposed material is there. That means leachate will come out. This leachate will be directly going and recharging the ground. There already water flowing is there, groundwater flow, everything will be polluted. So first we polluted the entire air quality, then polluted the soil, and then polluted the surface water, and we now we gone back to underground water to pollute. That means how we are going to survive, nobody knows. Nobody has the plan. A lot of medical waste is also dumped in the wells. If you go to the Karnataka, you can see this. See this. Along with the garbage, people start to dump the carcasses also. Before that, if any dead bodies, dead animals, it will be buried. But now start to dump along with the garbage like this. So this is the main reason. Whenever you throw the uh, organic material in the carry bag like this, this carry bag also smells like vegetables. So it attracts the cattle to eat. That's the major problem. And even food packing. Again, the major problem we are facing is uh, uh, sanitary napkins and uh, sanitary pad. Totally, only seven obstacles we are facing in garbage where people are not ready to come and work there. One major obstacle is this people throw the sanitary pad directly into the dustbin and the diapers they throw throwing directly. Scientific disposal, nobody knows. And uh, in the roadsides, you can see the dead animals. If you go to Rajasthan, there is a dead calf, they fold it in the jute bag and keep it in the roadside dustbin and go. You can see the solid waste is mixing with the liquid waste. This is a scene where uh, people learn from you. The black color bag, put all things inside, bundle it, decently you keep outside. Doing all type of mistake inside. Weekly ones, they will be removed. The garbage is just moving from one place to other place. See, here in this place, this particular house, they thrown all the garbage next to the compound wall and saying the house is very clean. They're not bothered about outside the compound wall. And here in the street, the entire street garbage is collected by a residential welfare association and dumped in the street corners so the municipality will come and clean. They say their streets are very clean. And here, area to area. Some people they bring garbage and dump it in that particular area and say their areas are clean. And that is the area where next to the arch is Gujarat. Ambaji. And the front side is Mount Abu Road, Rajasthan. So Ambaji garbage is being dumped here and saying Ambaji is clean. So the garbage is moving from house to house, street to street, area to area and state to state. But nobody is ready to solve it permanently. They want only temporary solution. The solid waste is mixing the drainage, it's blocking the drainage and it's giving a lot of food to the pigs, local pigs and it's multiplying. And the water is blocked, must do breeding starts. So now just think here. Uh, more than 20 type of disease coming because of the house flies and mosquitoes. Whatever the problem created us by us and the people going to affect is BP. And this awareness we have to push forward to the officials first. Then you have to bring it to the people. Even the sea, this is a world uh, second famous sea, same, uh, second long, uh, longest uh, beach, Marina. Marina beach is a tourism place. Everybody going to the Marina. But it is a diluted sewage. The entire Chennai sewage is going towards this Berida beach. This is the beach and sewage is linking place. The entire wastewater from Chennai is directly mixing with the sewage uh, to the sea. And uh, you can see the brownish color in the seashore. And people are jumping into the water, taking bath, doing all type of stuff. If you go to Rameshwaram, Rameshwaram is a holy place. People coming from uh, North India, 
they are all coming to Rameshwaram and they are just going and dipping like this. Three places the waste water is directly mixing in that area and they are taking bath in the sewage. Better they can do the same bath in their own place. There also sewage is available. I don't know why they are coming all the way here, I don't know. So by 2009, I came to US to know more about garbage because I thought the US is a well-developed country. So you have got a lot of uh, solution. <laughs> so I nearly visited uh, eight places. One is uh, Chicago. So I went to the place where uh, the garbage is taken. That is 361 kilometer, 161 mile. Every day they take the garbage and dump in the pit. This is the place. So it's called scientific landfill site. I was so happy to go and see the word scientific landfill site. What is their scientific landfill site? Scientific it is landfill. landfill site. So it is nothing but a one kilometer long, big pit length, of it breadth, 80 feet depth. This is a pit they dug. And the bottom layer is a concrete, two feet concrete. And then put six mm thickness of black color HD cover. As a lining on the bottom and then the same lining gone up to the top you can see the top the top level up to the pit then they put a the clay one feet clay on the top so the now pit is ready once pit is ready whatever garbage you collect from the city it will be brought to the temporary transfer station This is called temporary transfer station. Whatever the garbage they bring weekly once, they will come and dump here. And this uh, this vehicle will push all the garbage into conveyor belt. Like this. They may be picking some costly material like one or two metals through the conveyor belt or some uh, plastic, valuable plastic. Less than 11 percentage can be fixed. Remaining 90 percent will come like this. They so never use this. It's not very scientific. It's not scientific. It's, it's called scientific, but, but it's not scientific. In Portland, I saw there is a big conveyor belt, and the private people they just try to fix maximum, but still it's a 10 to 11 percent. 90 percent is going out, and then finally, it's all come to dumping site. And this conveyor belt carries the garbage into the co container lorries, like this type of containers. Once it gone into the container, there I saw the scientific work. There they put the hydraulic press, horizontal hydraulic press, and just pack the garbage like this. So that the entire uh, container is packed full of garbage. And then this container will be kept in the truck, and the truck will carry the garbage 161 miles. And they dump it in the pit. Same garbage in India, we carry in five lorries. Here you do in one lorry. That's the only scientific thing I learned from you. <laughs> and finally, it comes here and they open the gate. And then uh, once the garbage dump, immediately the this uh, uh, compactor will run on the garbage and pack the garbage into the soil. And then one by one, trucks will go continuously go and dump in, uh, garbage in the pit. And once the pit is full, then they're creating mountain on the top of this garbage mountain. So that means if 80 feet is full. Now again, they're going to create 100 feet above the pit, above the pit, like this. And finally, the mountain is ready. On the top, they put the black color plastic sheet, and they put some dirt on the top and put some grass and bushes. It looks like this. Suddenly, somebody got a beautiful idea because the plastic line is there fully, no oxygen circulation. Again, they cover with plastic over on the top. That means totally anaerobic, no oxygen circulation at all. A lot of organic metals inside. That means. Methane production is there. So they put the bore well inside the garbage and suck the methane for five years and produce electricity. See the electricity production center. End of the five years, all the methane is finished. Then they put a fencing in that area, told no, nobody should enter in this area. Again, they started pit, digging another pit like this. All over US, in 50 states, 1,800 garbage mountains are lying. Garbage mountains are getting ready. That means Keep on, we are going to bring garbage mountains. All our resources are going there. You can go and see the computer, you can go and see all type of furniture, you can see all our emissions, whatever it is called useless, whatever it's called one time use and throw. 
everything is in the pit only. This all comes because of your bad habit, which is called uh, one time use on the culture. You passing this culture to everybody. From here, sitting here, you are giving wrong information to everyone. One time use and throw culture is not our culture, but we copying from you because you are the well developed country, people believe. And even see, Azadras is a black color powder from battery cells. There's a debris on the back side, everything pushed into the pit. And finally, it comes to the dumping site. And this is a famous New York dumping site. This is my last visit, I had to go and see that. The same scene I can see in Delhi, Calcutta, Mumbai. Then why I come to all the way to US to learn this? The world biggest dumping site is in New York. The people say whenever the people goes to ra through the rocket, uh, they see the earth from rocket. They see three things. One is China's wall. Second is uh, sea water. And third is New York garbage dumping site. Then imagine the size of the garbage dumping site. That means how many garbage mountain you're going to create. In one, I'm telling you one particular year, all people going to come and take the garbage mountain for contract and they want to recover the material from there because no more materials available outside. Everything you buried inside the mountains. So you have to extract all the metals, plastics, whatever you throw inside the mountains, you have to extract it. So finally, by 2009, my visit is not uh, fruitful. I went back without any solution. But one thing I uh, finally decided, I came here with a lot of hope, saying that it's a well-developed country. We are all still developing country. We can go and learn something from you. But finally accepted, OK, we can go and search our own traditional knowledges. We can get our own uh, people to involve in this and use our own general knowledge. Why we should uh, depend on other people? So basically, I'm a mathematics student. I don't know anything about garbage. I came to this field uh, because of uh, some of the incident happened in Vellore and I just got into this project and finally stuck in this project. So uh, common general knowledge is nothing but our own uh, grandmother used to have a recycling uh, system. We got our own composting pit in our backyards. We reused several materials. So all these things, whatever uh, in my childhood I seen, I just brought back and uh, get a lot of uh, interesting things. For example, uh, in my childhood, people bringing one stick on the top, they'll put just some chocolates, floating chocolates. They'll come with horn. So all the children will go to him and give the hair, human hair. So whenever we comb, we get a lot of hair. Ladies keep the hair in their home. That hair, if you go and give to the guy, he will just bring some ch chocolates and they make a watch on your uh, and just give it. and people break their chocolate and eat. That means hair is recycled with chocolates. And put all your cloth and get garlic or some uh, onions from the person. The person will bring the onion or garlic and take all your cloths, give this. Or you take all your cloths and give some vessels. Plastic, all broken plastics, you will give and take a very good wood vessel. So that means it's all recent practice we got. But that, what happened to all these things? So finally, we come to know every 12 hours collection system. Every 12 hours, if you collect anything from the residential area, it is not a garbage. It is called unwanted material. It is not required for you. That's why you are giving it. This is called the garbage. How can you say it's a garbage? All these vegetables going for cooking. Now we are going to remove the unwanted portion from the vegetables and fruits. That's all. It's an unwanted portion. It's not a garbage. Whatever you remove, then immediately put in a dustbin. Once you throw in the dustbin, you say it's garbage. How can you say it's a garbage? It's all unwanted portion of the vegetables and fruits. If you keep this vegetable on the table, next one week, you will say it's a vegetable only. Next one week, whenever you go and say it's a vegetable fruit, vegetable fruit. But once you chop it, once it got damaged, the air, the bacteria which is in the air start to react on the material. That's all. It will take 12 hours to decompose, start to decompose. So at that time, before that, if you handle it, it won't smell. It looks very fresh, clean. It can be used for our cattle. And not into dung in less than 24 hours. So that means uh, we don't want to allow this material to stay for 24 hours in the house. That means already it start to decompose. And already a lot of flies started laying the eggs on the top. And it, if you leave for next one day, again it will start to smell. 
another 48 hours it's, it's, it will be stagnating in the hole and people start to put this vegetables they put the tea powder they put the milk packet then put the glass bro broken glass pieces inside they put the papers cardboards then put the sanitary pad diapers whatever is a layer by layer they put a once that has been good full they just bring it and uh, dump it the roadside as well so here all these fresh vegetables and the uh, organic material will be collected separately in separate container all the inorganic in other containers second once this project is very successful we try to reduce the time further because 12 hours uh, result is very good morning 7 to 9 and evening 4 to 6 two times each and every family we go and collect it that means uh, monthly 60 times monthly 60 times we come to your house and collect but in uh, us yearly 52 times weekly one day we are coming and collect that means uh, it's already totally decomposed material, already stinking material. What you're going to do with the material? And here, less than 12 hours, every six hours, food generating place. Yesterday I was in New York. I see a lot of food is coming out from the mess and the restaurants. They simply put in the carry bag and bundle it and just keep it in the road. That's all. Once you put the food waste in the plastic cover and dyed it, uh, that means no oxygen circulation. The food bag, plastic bag like, like this, uh, with foldings, uh, and slowly it is expanding and looks like very shining and smooth. It's nothing but full of gas formation. Another thing started. What to do with this material? So food item, what, wherever the food is coming, every six hours you have to collect. It is nothing but I, in my childhood, uh, fifth standard, my mother packed a different box for me for lunch. That means morning she start cooking by six o'clock, seven o'clock, lunch box is ready. One o'clock I'm eating that. That means from morning 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1. Six hours later, I'm eating the same material. That means, why can't we handle the same six hours in the processing site? How can you say it's a waste? Then bulk generators. Again, further six hours was reduced. Now we go on for every four hours for the bulk generators. Vegetable market, fruit market, daily market, weekly market, wholesale shop, wherever the material is coming in a bulk, within one hour, two tons, three tons will come out. It's called bulk generators. There, every four hours we collect it. Same thing, fruit market. Then, further, every three hours, non vegetarian Normally, if you go to the slaughterhouse, people slaughter the goats by morning four to five. Then by six o'clock, they opened all the skins, everything, then fly, finally the uh, flesh will be ready. That will be put the people put the rubber stamp of municipality and then it will come out from their start house. By six o'clock, four o'clock, the goat dead. Six o'clock, it came out from the start house, hanging in the market by 6 30, 7 o'clock. In Sunday morning, at 10 o'clock, we wake up, 11 o'clock, we go to the shop, purchase the meat half kg, one kg from the goat. By one o'clock, we are eating it. Just think about morning, four o'clock, goat dead. Five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one. Nine hours later, we are eating it. Why can't you process it in three hours? In our kitchen, nobody putting hand gloves, mask, TT injection, epitate SP, and then cut the meat. They are putting the barren hand and doing this work. What's wrong in collecting every three hours? For example, morning uh, six o'clock, chicken stall opened. They started uh, some ten chickens. Then they opening all the things. Finally, they put all the guts into the dustbin by six o'clock. Nine o'clock, the vehicle will go and just collect all the material which is available in the dustbin. How can you say it's garbage? If that is garbage, whatever the mutton you are eating on the one o'clock is also garbage. So nine o'clock, first collection is done. Then after nine o'clock, ten o'clock, he started another ten, ten chicken. Again by twelve o'clock, again the vehicle goes and picks all the material. Again by 3 o'clock, again by 6 o'clock, again final collection in 9 o'clock. That means 5 times we go and collect from the non-vegetarian shop. That means it's not a garbage, it's all raw material. It's all useful for some other purpose. The same thing, vegetable market. Morning first collection, 6 o'clock. Then second collection will be 10 o'clock. Then 2 o'clock. Then 6 o'clock. Then again night 10 o'clock. Again night midnight 2 o'clock. Because uh, wholesale market and all, the peak night time, you can see a lot of garbage coming out. A lot of trucks coming and dumping their material inside. So that means every 12 hours in residential area, every 6 hours in food generating places like Miss Canteen, Marriage Hall, 
can can miss whatever you call where the food is generated and every four hours bulk generators every three hours non vegetarian that means there is a garbage the word garbage is not at all fit here it's all raw material it's all uh, no uh, raw material for many industries without that many industry never operate for that they have to depend the virgin material again and again because we wasted all this material so now we will see one by one here just one hour is enough to change our indian people one hour just go and talk the field reality people will believe that's a that's a success story i heard the india got lot of hope because if you go and tell the field reality this is the problem i need your support if you support then the city will be like this please come and help us as a municipal corporation commissioner i cannot do anything as a commissioner I come here i can help you but i cannot solve all this problem permanently from you so if you go and tell the people what you have to do what not to do this is the message we are passing here to people just tell this is the practice you are going to do please segregate organic and inorganic put organic in separate container put inorganic in another container and tell what is the practice we are going to do what is the end result we are expecting what you are going to do what we are going to do if you are not doing this this is a penalty you have to face if you are doing success this is a, a incentive we will provide to you that's all one hour is enough for this meeting one hour is yes it's not joking first we have to study ourselves we should understand ourselves we should be very confident what we are going to do then go to the people and tell this is the thing we are going to do people are happy to do this 80% of the people segregating on day 1 that is the success story 80% of people in india 80% segregation in the day 1 is a big thing <laughs> any person not only women any person as well? women is a part and parcel of this program because we call uh, garbage more, mostly handled by ladies in india so we if you educate them and if you involve them directly they will go and convince convince the people ladies to ladies communication will be very easy for example sanitary pad and diapers and all gents could not go and talk with the ladies so we need a women self help group that's why we encourage a lot of women self help group to come out and they will go and do this project are we talking rural areas or urban both i spent more than 15 years in rural area last 3 years i am spending my time for urban area too but the success story comes very well in rural area because the problem they are facing more there is no facility funding resources are very less so they are ready to jump and get the solution but in urban area we have to depend the municipal corporation for everything so here you can see we provide two to dustbin red color dustbin for inorganic green color dustbin for organic if you go and give the people they will uh, try to use it very next day morning but first time as he said uh, we given the dustbin we provide red color dustbin green color dustbin without arranging any awareness meeting directly we given the dustbin please put organic here inorganic here and people taken the two dustbin happily very next day morning blue color dustbin came out <laughs> yellow color dustbins are coming out and cardboards are coming out some uh, matka is coming out and asking what about the red and green oh no problem sir you can take it no problem like this no what happened to i we provided dustbin free of cost why can't you give this organic inorganic why you are mixing it then i went inside and see one dustbin is one dustbin is in toilet other dustbin is in the kitchen they put idli maavu and all in that <laughs> they are not happy to put garbage they saying sir it looks very beautiful sir why are you want to put garbage inside so that's how we first uh, understood this issue and created awareness first we should create awareness to the people then we should distribute the dustbin without uh, creating awareness if you give the dustbin even wealthy people not interested to use this dustbin because it looks very uh, colorful and beautiful and with bucket type so they want to use it for washing clothes all purpose they are using the dustbin so then we understood the mentality we put the holes in the dustbin three holes we made <laughs> so that nobody should show the water inside like this from this 1 inch above this side portion three holes we made with a small uh, needle we made but our technology we know the tamarind and the soap technology we mix both things and put in the holes it will bind properly <laughs> so again we made the hole into little bit bigger so that no technology should work and finally the workable model is 1 cm hole dia if you make it nobody can uh, seal the hole so that is been done there then if you build the dustbin for them there's no other option they cannot use this dustbin for any other purpose they'll start to use this and they will also give the 
another poster where uh, organic and inorganic can be segregated and the do's and don'ts is mentioned and there is contact phone numbers are given and then we send the tricycle to the squad no no not bottom side side position if you bet the bottom down if they put some liquid it's come out so put the side position and then the tricycle will go so each and every tricycle co will cover 300 family like this you know this is a day one in gujarat tapi district this is a magic bell if you ring this bell this bell sound will go all the street and people bring the dustbin and just step outside and they go now inside for their job one sound to nine every day the vehicle will go just ring the bell people bring the dustbin and just keep it outside and they will go and do other work we have to go and just take the green color and red color dustbin green color will go to green compartment see that everything segregated all fresh vegetables and the red color is inorganic if you if you notice the ladies uh, worker it uh, no interesting these all trained ladies they know uh, even even people make mistake uh, they will rectify that you can see that they are throwing all the inorganic there into a red color compartment and now you watch this lady she is bringing green color uh, all green is red good then there is a and uh, yeah uh, that time that particular area they we got the dustbin and you can see that uh, red color dustbin some other family they got the organic material they carry back once they see the organic material is more, they never put in the inorganic. Again, they put the carry bag into the green color compartment. And then she found a, again, organic material lying in the same dabba. That means inside the house, there is a two or three families living. So they are just sharing the same dustbin. So they're using the red color dustbin for organic also. Once the people make mistakes, she understood the mistake and correcting herself that. That means that is the training we provided this one. And uh, here you can see three ladies moving together in three different corners and picking all the material directly. That means all the roadside dustbin is removed from the area. That means no more roadside dustbin. People never allowed to throw anything in the road. Morning 7 to 9, the vehicle will be standing in front of your house. Again, in the four, evening 4 to 6, the same vehicle, same team is standing in your house. That means eh, morning 4 hours, evening 4 hours. Same 8 hours duty, same salary, same system, same workers, same families. But garbage is not safe. Morning collection is 70% or 60%. Evening collection 30 or 40%. Everything looks very clean and beautiful, fresh. For that, we need two-time collection compulsory. There's no other option in that. Two-time collection. Per day, two times, if you go and collect, it is not a garbage. The same system, why can't we bring it to New York or other place where you have high-risk building, thousands of buildings you're bringing. One building, which is... Uh, designed like a car parking unit same thing we are designing for mumbai now each and every ward if you build one car parking unit design with eight storage nine storage building and covered with mesh with the full of lighting and solar panels outside from first floor to sixth floor organic material inorganic segregation secondary segregation vermicomposting cattle shed biogas plant everything will be packed in the sixth floor seventh floor and eighth floor ninth floor people living in the slum in mumbai they all will be replaced on the top of this. That means people who are having occupying a lot of slums, where they are not having even a very basic facility. They're washing the clothes, they're taking bath in the path. They're just making the children to get bath in the path because there's no other place. They don't want to leave the smell, uh, slum area. Because if once they go, there is no place for them. If even government gives some other place, 50 kilometers away, there is a giving apartment complex. You go and stay there. They're not ready to go because once they go there, they lose the opportunity, job opportunity, which is available already there. So that means they are not ready to vacate the slum and illegally they occupy, which is the government property. So if you go, go and give the same idea to these people and tell each and every ladies who are there, they can train, you can train them. Those who are completed 10th and above, they will be supervisors, less than 10 standard or worker category. Same slum area can be cleared and just go with eight storage or nine storage building like car parking unit. And the people who are going to be replaced on the 6th or 7th, 8th and ninth floor. The school will be on the top floor. All the ladies can come down from the 1st floor, 2nd floor, 3rd floor. Based on the education qualification, they will be in the different floors. They are just coming and working and they go back to the house. The gents, they can go out and work anywhere, wherever they are working already. For all ladies, this is the place where they can come and work in any shift. Morning shift, evening shift, night shift, afternoon shift. Whatever the shift they want, they can come and work and they can go home. That means they get, got the job opportunity, 
they got a very good housing place on the top of this and they got the children can read on the same floor they got the common kitchen where they need not to cook because there a lot of methane is produced through this project that methane can be supplied to the common kitchen so that means all slums can be recovered garbage never going to stop it's going to increase that means every day job opportunities plenty for these people the same scene why can't we bring it to here in us instead of eight storage building you can build a 30 storage building what's wrong in your system take all your material solve here itself why you need such a big heavy trucks moving in the road that so, only you are dangerous just calculate each and every family you are putting at least five plastic cover or two plastic cover brand new plastic cover giving coating of this dust been throwing inside and creating one more garbage attached to that that means how much plastic cover you are going to generate per day whole city so if it is a dustbin just washable if you are if you are lazy to wash we will wash it and keep it that dustbin for you that's not an issue here yeah because with respect to hygiene i mean even like if we take seven hours or like it is collected within seven hours it will still be kept in the open there and it's not that it does degrade food so you will find flies itself if you keep food itself outside for within two hours you get it so is there any like solution that is that's the reason we are going with the bucket type not dustbin share what you've seen is a dust dustbin shape now we go on with the bus bucket type bucket type is nothing but like a v-shape with a ring on the bottom with a, with will give a, a strong to the dustbin and there will be ribs on the top and we are also giving the lid the lid we make a needle type of holes in it that means air circulation will be there no flies will go inside okay. so it is like a bucket type so that even some people are living in the third floor they are lazy to come down every day to give the dustbin so we put the pulley on the top and put the rope get down in like this and that's been once you pick it from here just dump it and put in the hoop they will lift it up that's all so the bucket type is very comfortable for us we don't want to introduce a five six dustbin system in india because bringing two dustbin is a big thing for us so we put the bucket type so easily they'll carry and give organic inorganic so that's the reason we put that and uh, here it's very much possible because here education level if you are putting them you know penalty all these things definitely people will follow only thing is first of all we are not ready for this the government system or who was going to implement this project we are not first ready once you're ready and once you calculate all the benefit environmental benefit and uh, economical uh, things everything if you calculate definitely you will get a fruitful result here in developed country here. once you change it that will ref reflect all part of the world okay once you collect like this it will go it will go to our projecting project processing center which is called secondary segregation center So once it is collected like this, it will be taken to our project site, which is called secondary segregation, and no more garbage. See this? So far, people collected and dumping in a dumping site or landfill site. Now it is coming to solid and liquid resource management center. Now we are contacting Puja for that vehicle <laughs> because it is not a garbage; it's all money inside. We call it as a Lakshmi. So Lakshmi is coming first time. So district collector is waiting for garbage now. <laughs> <laughs> that's all why we need a heavy vehicle this vehicle is enough instead of a small shed it's going to go in your uh, car parking unit there is a slope is given the vehicle will go directly to the sixth floor and go all the dump and uh, dump all the inorganic metal on the top floor and come down every two hours three hours let it just run in the new york city what's wrong in that from yesterday night, I'm seeing the black bag is still there while I'm coming to the railway station. That means already 40 hours has gone. Yesterday morning, yesterday evening, until morning, it's still lying in the road. Only thing is, the beauty thing is, you didn't have the dogs in the road. If dogs is there, they will just open all the bags. Here in India, the problem is, whatever you keep on the road, the dogs will finish it. 
So here, this vehicle will go inside and they'll go uh, and uh, dump inside. It's all money in different form. Once it's gone inside, you can see this. This is the evening collection. 30% we brought or 40% we brought in our money. After 9 o'clock, whatever we collected in the morning, 7 to 9, after 9 o'clock, whatever people generated in the house, it is here. How can you say garbage? All paper, plastic, or cardboard, metal, glass, it never smells. There's no smell, no stink, no worms in it. Looks very clean. What we do normally once in a year, Diwali or Pongal, we clean all our house. That means 364 days garbage we are cleaning without any hand gloves, without mask, without TT injection, hepatitis B. Directly, we are going and cleaning our house. We are whitewashing our house. 364 days garbage you are ready to clean by yourself but once in a day if you collect they call sanitary workers we are neglecting them so this all inorganic material unwanted material so once it has been collected then it goes to secondary segregation and once it is uh, removed from the back portion then you can see the black color uh, plate once you remove that in the top top position then we can see the Organic battery is lying inside. This is 300 families evening collection. That's all the vegetable came today. That's all the vegetable generated by the people today. If you just see close here, you can see that. It's all fresh vegetables. 90% cattle will finish it. Coconut shells you have to remove. Coconut fibers, one or two packer plastic is there that can be removed because it's not totally soaked with the organic material. Still cardboard is cardboard. Paper is paper there. So once it is all collected, it will go to the secondary segregation. So we got facilities for everything here. That is called, that's why we call it as a solid and liquid resource management center. Well, for example, suddenly I'm coming from airport. That's my suitcase. I simply saying, you know, this is a big ground. Okay, this is your house, you go and stay. Is it possible? I can bring my bag and just uh, you put me in an open place and say, this is your house, this is your home, you go and stay. That means, Home means there will be some, uh, uh, there is a toilet bathroom, there is a hall, puja room, store room, kitchen, all basic facilities, over a tank, tap connections, all things, compound wall, safety tank, water connections, drinking water, bathroom, toilets, everything. It's called home. Once you enter, you can you, are, you will be comfortable. You can ma manage yourself. The same thing. You are taking all the garbage and dumping in an open place and saying, it's a solved. How can you solve the garbage problem in an open place? Where is the facility to handle this garbage? What type of facility to be arranged? First, that first of all, that nobody finalized. And simply going and dumping in a pit, is it a solution? In US, what you are doing is a big pit there, right? and they're simply throwing it in the pit. Is that is not a permanent solution for that. And in India, instead of pit, they are throwing it in an open place. That's all. We call it as a land for a dumping site, we are calling it as a landfill site. And here, this is called secondary segregation. Once the material comes, it should go to secondary segregation. There the facility is available, where the people can sit. The space is available for each and every vehicle. Each and every person can sit and do the work. Now you can see. This is an inorganic metal from the first vehicle. Opposite to that, organic metal is there. The same vehicle. Second vehicle is inorganic, organic. That means three people are driving in the vehicle. One person will be sitting here and segregate there. Other person will segregate here. And one person will wash the plastic covers. If you throw all the milk pouches, if you throw the sabji sambar uh, packets, we remove all sabji sambar, cut the plastic or wash it in the water and put in the needle and dry it in the open sun. That's how it will dry. So three people will do three different work and finally we will recover the money. This is a cash bundle. Cardboard. It's all money in different form. You got the ring, golden ring. It's a money in different form. Chain. Money in different form. What do you call this? Here the is the gold. Again, there is a money in different form. We know the value. That's why we are preserving it. We don't know the value. That's why we are throwing in the garbage. Once you segregate properly, the cardboard is packed. There is a thousand rupees bundle. So money is lying here. Only thing is we have to segregate. Immediately we have to process it. And once everything comes here, all the organic material, whatever we collected from the shops and houses, we chopping into pieces and feeding to the cattle. Whenever we collect every 12 hours, it looks like this. How can you say it's a garbage? For us, maybe it's a garbage. 
for the cattle which is roaming the road eating all the plastic cows and dying the cattle which is called dry cows no more calf no more milk simply we are sending them to slaughterhouse that cattle is a for the that cattle this is a raw material that every 35 kg one cattle can be appointed in this project they will just finish it everything so all this material whatever is uh, gone inside it all goes to the cow dung this cow dung is now shifted to biogas plant this is a sequence of biogas plant six biogas plant is attached six biogas plant is attached throughout the world people making one mistake people says biogas plant yes put organic material inside methane gas will come definitely methane will come how much it will come how much material you are putting every day how much methane is extracted how much methane is going along with the slurry daily basis without trapping the methane so we have to have the multiple biogas plant system not one single biogas plant system if you have multiple biogas plant system the entire methane can be trapped for example one biogas plant if you put the material it goes to the bottom and again pushing out the material while pushing it out 70 to 60 percentage of methane is going out along with this slurry nobody knows that so if you put sequence of biogas plant from the first plant whenever the cow dung slurry is coming out it automatically goes to second plant from the second plant it goes to third plant then finally it will be disposed in the sixth plant or seventh plant that means total methane will be trapped this methane is distributed out it will be uh, stored and it can be used in your own kitchen like, Cylinder or anything you can do anything see for example this is a sequence of biogas plant one of this is functioning last 10 years you can see the three uh, plant now it becomes a six plant this is a first plant second plant third plant all three plants are attached we are able to generate 300 kilo cow dung every day 300 kilogram gobar every day this cow dung is going into the biogas plant yeah and once it goes we suck all the floor washing water from the cattle shed through this which is the collection and it goes to the cow dung so 300 kilogram cow dung 300 liter waste water mixed together it's mixed now now this slurry is going to the biogas plant morning six o'clock it's a vegetable even six o'clock is the cow dung Nobody can do this, or cattle fan can do this, but we call it as a cattle as a waste. It's called dry cow. And finally, 600 liter has gone. Once 600 liter gone inside, automatically cow dung is pushed to second plant. From the first plant, it goes to second plant. Before that, 70 percent, 60 percent methane is going out along with this slurry. We lost all these things, and that again released to the atmosphere. Now it's going to the second plant automatically. From the second plant again, there will be push. It goes to third plant. From third, it goes to fourth, fourth to fifth. So now you can see it's coming from the first plant. There's full of gas inside the drum. Now you can see it's from the second plant to third plant. Again, from the third to fourth plant. Still, there's a meeting. And finally, sixth plant, you can notice the cow dung slurry looks like this. Totally methane free cow dung slurry. One third or two third will come out based on the character of the material. And finally, the slurry will go into the vermicomposting unit. And the earthworms will eat everything and convert into beautiful manure. Monday morning, if you chop the vegetable, Wednesday evening, manure is ready. Monday morning, whatever the food you throw in the hotel, Wednesday evening is ready. In Tamil Nadu, we can, we can say it's a uh, unique fall. <laughs> the same concept. Only thing is, we are using the bacteria, we are using the cattle, we are using the chicken, we are using the frogs, pig, uh, fish, then buffaloes, uh, dry cows, algae, bacteria, earthworms, cara plants, banana trees. These are the people coming and helping this project. What about non vegetarian ways? Normal? Uh, like uh, organic waste generated from non-vegetarian sources. Non-vegetarian, I'm coming. I'm just coming, covering the residential area now. So, the earthworms will be collected totally, and uh, hatch the eggs and other things. Then the gas, whatever the metal stored, you can see that all the drums are full. If it is extracted in the first drum, why other drums are full now? That means methane is not trapped fully. That's why all the drums are floating, full of methane gas. 
from 300 kilogram cow dung just calculate 1200 kilogram vegetables if you feed the cattle we get 300 kilogram gober every day cow dung every day that 300 kilogram if you feed every day you will get every day one commercial cylinder gas which is worth of 1800 rupees only from gas only from 300 kilogram if it is a kr market which is in bangalore which generate 85 tons per day cattle eat of item alone 85 tons divided by three or divided by four that, that much of gas cylinders going to come out in chennai coin bid market which is a, a asia's biggest market thousand uh, sorry 180 tons cattle eatable item which can feed 7,000 cattle every day. And just see how much gas we can produce from that vegetable market. So this all methane will come out and it can be used directly for uh, cooking or it can be converted into methane gas, uh, sorry, converted into electricity. So that's how the organic metal is gone now. Now cattle non-eatable item. Okay, uh, all cattle eatable item, we fed to cattle, no problem, cow dung, wet forms, composting, 72 hours problem solved. If it's a perished item, if you throw something from your fridge, you put some uh, vegetables and all in a fridge for one week, 10 days or one month, uh, finally you notice uh, it totally it is everything damaged. You simply throw in the dustbin. We cannot feed that. It's already uh, off de decomposed. So what to do with that? If you keep it in the road, say open dustbin, sometimes the flies will go and lay the egg. And then it comes to our composting unit. Normally we use chicken and frogs to solve the maggots problem. But here in urban area, we are not able to do that. So this is a scientific compost bed. We put all the cattle non eatable item into this compost bed. This is called scientific compost bed, eco-friendly and scientific compost bed. So whenever we put this organic material like this, definitely the worms will come out. Because already a lot of house flies, uh, egg is there. Because whenever the composting is there, the temperature will increase. At the temperature increasing time, the, all the eggs will get hatched. The worms will start to come out. This worms looks ugly seen. That's why we put the chickens to go and pick everything and convert it into beautiful eggs. But uh, in a rural area, it is possible. In urban area, we are not able to use the chickens and frogs to clean the eggs. So we put, you know, if you, uh, if you leave this uh, worms here, within 48 hours, it all become pupa stage. Like this. They make it pupa. And then they'll make the break the thing and the uh, flies will start to come out. That's all. That's how the flies are coming out. If it's a chicken or uh, if it's a goat, a dog, a other cow, animal and all, they will give birth and they will give uh, milk. But the house flies, they will go and lay the egg in the decomposing material and fly. That's all. Then decomposing material will go for composting. At the time, worms will come. The worms become a pupa stage and uh, from the pupa stage, flies will come out. That means it's a big problem we are facing. So to avoid this, very simple technology is eco-friendly compost bed like this. This is called eco-friendly compost bed. So now you can see how it's functioning. This is eco-friendly compost bed. This is a cut stone. There's no paint, no azadras. Cut stone pillars fixed uh, very uh, sequentially and looks like a bed. A lot of aeration there in the gap. And there is a, around the bed there is water and there's a lot of fish inside. So whenever the organic metal put on the compost bed, definitely the heat will come. Up to 85 degrees Celsius it will go. At the time of stage by stage, by stage increasing of temperature, all the eggs will get hatched. The worms will come out. But every day the temperature start to increase. Every minute, the worms could not stay inside. They try to come out to, from the beds. While coming out to the edge, they have to fall into the water only. Once it falls into water, the fish will finish. That means not even a single worm will escape from this fish. That means once it is handled in the uh, maggot stage itself, there's no chance for them to go for pupa stage. Then no house flies. That means no houseflies, no garbage, no smell, no stink, no ugly scene. Everything looks beautiful. Why we should hate the garbage? Why we should throw the garbage 161 miles away from the city? Why can't we do it in our own city? Why can't we convert it into job opportunities? A lot of educated people are required. People should understand the sanitation. Without understanding the basic sanitation, nobody can go and work here. That means we need more and more people, educated people, to come and work. How can you say there is no job opportunity in the US and other places? uneducated okay they can go and work but educated people are required more here to manage the whole project so that means why can't you bring the as solid and liquid resource management center in a apartment complex type and take it and process it in the city itself if we keep our toilets and bathrooms inside our house why can't we keep our own uh, slrm centers in our own city what's wrong in that system 
I know this uh, toilet bathroom in India, 30 years before I seen toilet bathroom has been kept outside from the house backyard, 30 feet away from the house. That means we have to go to the back door, open the back door, just walk for 20 feet or 30 feet, then go and use the toilet bathroom, wash your legs, then come back again and uh, clean our head uh, legs through the jute bags. Then we have to come inside the house. Then after 30 years, 20 years before, the same toilets and attached along with the building backside. Same thing, we have opened the gate back door and went out. Just immediately there is a toilet bathroom outside. We used the toilet bathroom, same thing happened. 10 years before, the toilet came inside the house now. And now it came to the bedrooms. Just imagine, 30 years before it's outside the house, now it's in our bedroom. Simple thing what we are telling. No, no, we are keeping the toilet clean. It can be anywhere. That means if you're keeping the SLR center clean, it can be anywhere in the city. Why you should take it outside? If your human waste is and urine is kept in your home, in your own septic tank, inside your compound wall, why can't you keep our paper, plastic or metal glass inside our city? What's wrong in the system? The practically, if you think we are doing worst thing, we are accepting that. Best things are there, but we are throwing it out in a big pit. That's all we are doing. So finally, organic material will be put like this and covered with the jute bag. End of the 45 days, the compost is ready without house flies, without maggots. The flies will take care. Yeah. What will you do with the fish? Fish. Yeah. Fish will be the, they are all workers. We, are, we never eat them. <laughs> Any type of fish, we are right now using guppy fish and we can use other fish also, like catfish, we call catfish type. There is a big mustache that if you keep the fish on the table also, it will lie for some time. So that type of fish will be what will model. But only thing is we need to give some aeration there because Whenever you put the composting material, the decomposing time, a lot of man, uh, leachate will come, black color water will come. That drops will fall into this uh, tank water, it will get diluted. If it is in another area, the water will be stagnating and stinking because uh, that is called a leachate. But here, the leachate will get diluted and the same water, you can fill it in the bottle and sell it for 10 rupees, 20 rupees. Just fertile water. Yeah. Is there a market for maggots? If you want, mm -hmm. wherever there is poultry system, you can do that. Why we should create unnecessary problem? <laughs> Here the problem is that that's why we are trying to create solution. But you, you want to create a problem yourself and uh, find a solution for that. And here dry leaves. Whatever the money you are spending now, whatever the pollution you have created so far, whatever the depreciation for the vehicle, compared with all these things, this is nothing. Take all the government uh, government department buildings, convert it into this. This type of thing. That's all. <laughs> that is the land value will come. If the commissioner office sitting in the middle of the city, demolish the commissioner office, demolish, build this whole thing, put the commissioner office in the ground floor, and do all the things on the top. Management will be better than that. It is going to come in Mumbai very soon. Now only I got a chance to enter inside the Mumbai after 23 years. So now we are going to go with the dry leaves. How we can handle the dry leaves? which is plenty in volume. For example, this is a small experiment I like to show you, which has ha happened very perfectly in Delhi. This is in modern school, very famous school in Delhi, where uh, all industrial people and uh, uh, very, you know, very wealthy people's children only study in the school. The school is very beautiful. And the only problem we faced here is the ground is very dirty. The entire playground is full of garbage like this line. And all the garbage has been dumped. They don't know uh, how to dispose it. But the happy thing is uh, they didn't burn it. So here you can see um, uh, the principal given the permission and also principal is very much interested in doing this project. Because of that, uh, we sh shown the result. You can see that a lot of material has been lying here everywhere. And we brought everything together. And then segregated all the inorganic material from that. That will be seg segregated again and it will be sold to recycling industry. Then all the dry leaf which is coming there, we ask the children to jump on the leaf. They put the gumboot and jumping on the leaf. For them, it's fun. Parallelly, what's happening there? While jumping on the dry leaf, dry leaf will get broken into pieces. Or there'll be a lot of scratches. Damage will come in the leaf. That damage is entry point for bacteria to go inside for us. So the, once they're jumping on the leaf, like five feet uh, leaf, if you put under the jumper, the five feet become one feet. And then that material can be taken into the, uh, the this type of tubs. This is a very basic thing required for this project. And this tub, we fill the water and put 50 gram fresh cow dung 
in that water so that the bacteria which is available in the uh, cow dung will enter in the water and otherwise if you didn't have the uh, uh, cow dung you can take one week old buttermilk or, or one week old curd mixed with the water then dip all the dry leaf you can do this in your own house in your own kitchen in your own garden you can do this so once you dip the water is there moisture will go so the entire leaf get moisture and the, uh, the broken edges are the bacteria to go inside and destroy the leaf so once it is done you can see the people this is a 12 feet length six feet breadth we are making the compost bed This is purely, purely, this is purely dry leaves, grass cuttings, fresh leaves, flowers, twigs, seed covers, seeds, whatever the bushes we cut in the roadsides, all these things. For this, we don't want any infrastructure. We need shaded area. If there's a lot of trees, under the tree we can do this. That's all. We don't want any infrastructure for this. Just bring it. Put it under the tree, you can do this. 12 feet length, 6 feet breadth, and it will go up to 6 feet height. Then once it is packed layer by layer like this, and then in the side position, we have to strengthen it. So that binding will be very good. It's purely only water and uh, buttermilk or curd or fresh powder. That's all. That's the only thing required for this. End of this packing, finally, uh, it will come like this. 6 feet height. Then it will be covered with jute bag. That's all. Now you can see 12 feet long, uh, 6 feet breadth, and the height is 6 feet. This hold uh, 7 truckload of dry leaf. 7 truckload of dry leaf is required to make this one bed. That means uh, in Delhi, tons and tons of leaves are falling. Bangalore, Mysore, all the cities just go and notice. Uh, plenty of leaves is falling in the fall time that we collect it and make it in our own parks. In Bangalore alone, 1,200 parks are there. 1500, 1200 parks are available. In that, uh, 200 parks uh, is more than two, two acre land. That means easily it can be handled in the park itself. Why we should, should burn it? Why should why people should carry this in a big, big trucks? Uh, this weightless material. Why should uh, carry this thousands of uh, thousands and thousands of trucks is going and dumping in a dumping site? This can be composted in the same park itself, where you require the manure in the park itself. We are spending lakhs of rupees for the menu to keep the park. And then, only one thing we have to do is we have to keep the jute bag moisture. All other moisture is to be managed. End of the 60 days, the height, the six feet height will reduce to four feet. The inside, the temperature is 85 degrees Celsius. If somebody put the hand inside, the top skin will go out. That much of temperature is inside. And end of this whole thing, 60 days, the height will reduce to four feet. And manure will be ready. It's called mulch, pure mulch. Moisture holding capacity is more. So that means this can be directly utilized in our gardens, in your own kitchen garden or roof garden. You can use it. It's called whatever the material we collected from the urban, it is going back to urban area itself. This is in the fourth floor where there's a bamboo basket. Just fill this material in the bamboo basket. That's all. Don't add any soil. If you want, you can add 25% soil, not 75% soil. Normally, people say 75% mud, 25% manure. Which here it's totally ulta. 75% manure and 25% soil you can add. Or 100% mulch you put and put four earthworms inside the mulch. The earthworms will keep on rotate ups and downs and take the oxygen into the roots. And you can cultivate all type of vegetables. In Tamil Nadu, 63 type of greens and green leafy vegetables we are cultivating. You can see the bamboo basket, see the lush green. Where is the yellow color leaf? That means a lot of nitrogen is there. Bacteria is surviving there. Without chemis, uh, chemi uh, chemicals, without fertilizers, without any pesticide, it can be grown in our own terrace. Whatever you thrown from the urban area, it's coming back to your own urban terrace. It's all eco-friendly roof garden, we call it. And this is individual family. See the individual families. They're able to enjoy. People need not to go run in the roadsides. People can go and work for one hour in the roof garden. That itself is the best exercise for them. And even the Bangalore people start to generate the strawberry in the house. 
so many people complaining that uh, whenever they keep the seeds and all in the terrace a squirrel coming and creating a lot of damage so for the squirrel we have to keep the dolls like this wherever the squirrel goes they get afraid they never come here it's all dolls coming again in the garbage only so the garbage is helping everywhere for us see if you keep like this <laughs> squirrel get afraid because it looks big big eyes some somebody sitting there there's a well, muskmelon in this inside you can see the muskmelon here so we have to protect from the squirrel so one uh, one dog is sitting in the basket so they never come and damage this and this is the world biggest roof garden now 987 container in uh, Coimbatore this is a government building 987 container is available in one single building it's been done by self group this is the biggest roof garden right now eco-friendly roof garden so it's going to go for a guinness book of record and these all workers 15 workers are trained people these people per day payment is 500 rupees if you give 500 rupees they will come and set up the roof garden for you for them only experience no education for them they know each and every leaf they know seed only thing is 50 percent training they already have remaining 50 percent are given that's all they will do all all type of things <laughs> So whatever the mulch manure we created, it can be handled in our own city itself. That means all our fresh vegetables, fresh fruits, organic milk gone to the cattle, converted into dung and biogas plant, vermicompost, vermicast, all the things. Cattle non eatable item gone for composting. Then dry leaf now composted and mulch converted. Now we are going with the food items, food generating places and uh, bulk generators. Here you can see vegetable market or food market. Whatever you see here, the same. Uh, this is the Madiwala market in Bangalore. This is four hours collection. Four hours collection from Madiwala market. Four hours collection, 2.5 tons. We pick some of the plastic away from that and start to load in the cattle feeding chamber. That's all. After that, we open the cage. That's all. Whenever if you see the marriage hall, people are tying the, tying the Mangal Sutra, people are walking like this. <laughs> that means you have to go to the office. There's another option. So the same thing, once you fill everything, the cats are watching. Once they open the gate, they are all running towards their places. And they all will be going and settling down every places. And uh, you can see the same. And finally, one hour, 15 minutes, if you go there, everything is clean. See the chambers. How can you say it's garbage? All our commissioners, municipal corporation commissioners, engineers, sanitary inspector, health officers, executive engineers, CEOs, everybody's breaking their head how to solve the garbage. Here, the buffaloes are giving solution. You're not learning from them also. How can you say it's all garbage? End of the day, the market is closed. They throw everything out. If you go to the fruit market, this is a fruit market. Yeah. How can you say it's a waste? Every every four hours. Madiwa, this is a uh, 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 Devaraj market in Mysore. Whatever it's collected, immediately it will be processed. And if it's, even in the banana mandi, lot of uh, banana stems will come. All the banana stems first be converted into chips, then feed to cattle. It's all heavy, 35 tons per day. 35 tons. Now it is chopped into pieces. Once it chops, immediately it will be fed to buffaloes. Buffalo do their digestion very fast than other animals. Other animals take only 5 kg. Buffalo will eat 20 kg. So buffalo digest system is very good. Why we should send all our buffalo to China to for their meals? 60 lakh buffaloes going to China for their meals. We are losing our own resource and they are using it as a feed, that's all. Without any spending energy, we are able to do this. 
and all our food items, whatever the food is coming out as a garbage. This is the marriage hall. End of the marriage, night time, 8 to 11, we generate a lot of banana leaf along with the food. This is the food waste. All the food items comes out. How can you say it's garbage? You can see what are the items are there. 8 o'clock they served, 11 o'clock is with me, 3 hours only. But I can eat this food for 7 hours later also. That means it all came from the banana leaf. It is not a garbage, it's called leftover food. So all items can be sent to dog shelters. That's all. Just go and give to the dogs. I don't want you to eat that. At least dog can be. At why you are carrying this all the way to dumping site and dumping it? At least give to the piggeries. Worst case, you pick mix with the water and the cow dung and some jaggery. Mix with that, put in the biogas plant. It will become gas and become a, a compost totally. Why we should throw in the dumping site? Why you are packing in a black cover and bundle it without oxygen? It's totally packed, totally decomposed. No, no animals can even eat that. So the food item can be given to the dog shelters. So once this all things comes all together as a project in uh, March, uh, uh, March, yes, uh, March 16, it came in a Satyamav Jayade TV show. For 10 minutes, it came as a project. Kai, Murgiya, Medha, Machniya, Patke, or Kechwe. ये सब प्राणी वेल्लोर के श्रीनिवासन चंद्र शेखरन के साथी हैं और कचरे से निपटने के उनके काम में कार्यकर्ताओं की भूमिका निभाते हैं। श्रीनिवासन द्वारा बनाए गए वेल्लोर मॉडल में 24 घंटे के प्राणी खुशी से काम करते हैं। सबका अपना अपना काम भी तय है। कोई नाइट ड्यूटी पे रहता है तो कोई डे ड्यूटी पर शिफ्ट बदलते वक्त भी कोई दिक्कत नहीं होती सुबह होते ही बतखें और मुर्गियां अपने काम पर लग जाते हैं और रात के वक्त मेंढक और केचुए कुल मिलाकर सब गार्बेज को गोल्ड बनाने के काम में लगे हैं यानी कचरे को जैसे सोने में तब्दील कर रहे हैं श्रीमासन जी मुझे बड़ा ताज्जुब होता है कि आप जानवरों को इस्तेमाल करते Actually, they are the specialized for that. No other person can match to them. That's the reason of that. We are using them. Okay, sir. We all people know about the cow. We take the milk from the cow. After four or five months, then uh, the cow stops birth. After that, people think it's a waste. Okay. Because there's no milk. So that is a waste. This garbage is another waste. Minus into minus always plus. So match both these people together. And every four hours, we collect in the bulk generators, like digital market. All these areas, fresh fruit, uh, fruit mandis. Mm -hmm. So there is a time frame as given by the nature for everything. Before that get destroyed, if you handle it, it is not a waste. It's called uh, raw material. It's called a resource. Mm -hmm. So the dry cows will be appointed in our project site. Uh, every 35 kilogram of vegetable waste, one cattle will be appointed for this job. Its job is to eat the vegetable waste, fresh vegetables, convert it to dung, and just sleep inside the shed. It's a retirement stage. <laughs> It will convert the entire volume reduction in one fold. Mm -hmm. And also, the entire waste, whatever you say, kachra, it is converted into powder. Once the dung comes out, dung has the value of methane. Uh -huh. so what we do is we immediately put it to the biodigester. That right. is bio right. Finally, 99% methane free powder study will come out. Mm -hmm. Immediately, it gets shipped to the folks. Right. It will be eaten by them and just comes out through the excreta. Right. And that is the material. 100% is contained from the stomach. Mm -hmm. That is called a big cast. World's best material. The world's best material. It's called black gold. Droppings of the earthworms. It can be directly shifted into the land. Otherwise, it will take 45 days minimum to get decomposed through the bacterial process. So, now, for example, I'm telling you, Monday morning, mom is just stopping the residue. Yeah. Monday morning, 6 o'clock. 9 o'clock, our garbage vehicle comes and collect it. Correct. 10 30, we fed the cattle. Correct. 6 o'clock, we are getting the powder ready. <laughs> Put it into the biodiesel stir, powder study will come out. Mm. Immediately, we shift it to the earthworms. Very next day evening or very next day morning, that is less than 72 hours, we have taken the black gold. Which is the very fastest process in the world. Wow. There is no machine that can do this process without any external attention. We got a cell phone without charge, totally useless. Technology fails. Correct. A cow it eats everything, converting into energy and giving the energy to us mm -hmm. without 
रिचार्जिंग द कॉल एवरीडे और दूसरे जानवरों का इस्तेमाल कैसे होता है मसलन मुर्गियां क्या करती है दैट इज सम कैटल नॉन ईटर दाइट लाइक मे रोटन आइटम यू कम सो दे पुट इन द कंपोस्ट बेड सो इन द कंपोस्ट बेड द मैगट्स विल कम आउट मैगट्स मतलब वो छोटे-छोटे कीड़े स्मॉल वर्म्स चिकन्स मेजर फूड इज वर्म्स and uh, beetles, small, small, small. Just if they pick everything, I'm going to do beautiful eggs very next day morning. Those who see like this, oh, this is the works. The very next day morning, they eat the omelette. Like that. Oh, man, you can do this. No technology, no machine can do it. No machine in the world. If you put all the worms into the machine, then no, no machine will give the eggs. Very good, very good. But the chicken, the uh, world also limited because each and every. Uh, process there is a positive and negative. Okay. For the uh, chicken is uh, negative is it never work in the night time. Even if you keep the chicken in the daytime closed and keep it out in the night time, it never work. So, रात को कौन काम करता है? For that we appoint again the frogs. Uh, frogs <laughs> are running in nature. So the night shift, uh, day shift has been involved by the nature again. They balance each other without salary, without forming the union, without asking for bonus. So getting any strike, they do the work. सही है सही. तो मुझे बताइए कि ये बत्तखें क्या करती हैं? That's favorite food is fish, uh, uh, but the same municipal corporation or municipality. The fish is the fish market is king. Mm. For them, fish is a problem. They are the that need the fish. So every three hours, if you pick the fish, just distribute to the ducks, uh, they will finish it fast. Which takes one twenty days to compost. It will finish it within fifteen minutes to twenty minutes, wow. and the whole thing will come out within two minutes. <laughs> Normally, the ducks will lay only eight to ten eggs per month. Because of feeding all these fish and other knowledge they invest regularly, especially fish, and we are getting 24 eggs per month. Oh! And if I have 20 ducks, then multiply it. Yeah, we have what to 11 to one. 11 female egg, that one one male duck. Why 11 female and one male? We need more eggs. One duck is enough to make. We need to know that we are both amazing. They are the people doing excellent work and giving the finest result. तो इस वक्त आप किसी प्रोजेक्ट पे काम कर रहे हैं या राइट नाउ आई एम वर्किंग विद पाइथन कंटोर डीआरडी डिस्ट्रिक्ट रूरल डेवलपमेंट एजेंसी और ये यहां में इट द 10 विलेज पंचायत्स टुगेदर एज अ ब्लॉक इज इक्वल टू वन मंथ टाइम एक गांव में तो मैं समझ सकता हूं कि ये हो सकता है क्योंकि वहां पर छोटे पैमाने पे करना है लेकिन अगर बड़े पैमाने पे करना है जैसे किसी शहर में करना है आपका जो तरीका ये मुमकिन actually for the municipal corporations the space is very very less in the city inside the city so you need not carry this material 100 km away from the town and process it it can be processed in the whole city in this whole town or in the same ward that's why it's called decentralized it's decentralized it's beautiful people think like a tonnage why you should think like a tonnage if i give a big jackfruit such a big jackfruit you cannot eat that you have just make it into pieces then each and every person can handle it mm -hmm. so every 2 km radius We have to have the SLRM center. SLRM center, what is it? Solid and Liquid Resource Management Center. So, every two kilometers, this center should be there. Yeah, I already told you, this center is where waste management is a successful story. This center is where collecting is another another issue. Mm -hmm. For example, saloon generates only six types of garbage. Who okay. can? One is uh, ladies' hat, gents' hat, blade, mm -hmm. paper with cream after shave. Then the cosmetic items, inorganic materials, some organic materials like food and some flowers and other things. So we don't want this to be mixed with regular garbage. Yeah, the regular garbage truck. Ah. So one vehicle will be sent only to the saloon. For example, if they're in Mumbai, we got some two thousand saloons. One car is taking a bunch of it. One vehicle means multiple vehicle. Ah, other area for each. Only for uh, saloon. Yes, it will be segregated. It can be sold in the end of the day. The highest, <laughs> the valuable garbage in this world right now is ladies' hat. Two thousand five hundred rupees per kg. Wow, wow. So day by day, the garbage is there. दिन खत्म होते होते वो इस्तेमाल भी हो जाएगा इफ यू कलेक्ट सेपरेट तो राज ये है तरकीब ये है कि शुरुआत से ही मिक्स मत करो yes. अलग अलग इकट्ठा करो और अलग अलग ही लेकर जाओ तो आपके पास इसके आप पूरा प्लान है मास्टर प्लान है यस वाओ वाओ तो मुझे बताइए कि ये जो आपका मॉडल है इसमें खर्चा कितना से दिस इज टोटली सेल्फ सस्टेनेबल मॉडल बेस्ड ऑन माय फील्ड एक्सपीरियंस आई एम टेलिंग यू Uh, in municipal corporations, minimum we can take about three rupees from people's garbage. मतलब आप अगर मेरा टक्कर लेंगे तो आप मुझे तीन रुपए दें। I will convert into three. तीन रुपए में तब्दील कर देंगे, बदल देंगे। And without any garbage collection fees. तो मुझे बताइए कि अगर मुंबई जैसे शहर की जिम्मेदारी आपको दी जाए कि इसको आप साफ कर दीजिए, तो आपको कितना समय लगेगा? कितना वक्त लगेगा? Minimum eighteen months. मतलब डेढ़ साल। तो मतलब डेढ़ साल में आप मुंबई की 
काया पलट कर सकते बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया श्रीवासन जी बहुत ही कमाल के सुझाव आपने दिए हैं बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया थैंक यू so once this came in the tv immediately the municipal corporation of jodhpur approached us and they want to start this project so august 15 we are launching dosto ye ek jang hai ek ladai hai hamare aur gandagi ke beech mein milke hame ye jang jeetni hai aur hamara hathiyar hai kachre ke alag alag dibbe kachra kachra nahi sona hai is vishwas ke sath satyamev jayade par garbage ko gold banane ke nayab tarike bataye gaye the jodhpur nagar nigam ne इन तरीकों को अपनाने की ठान और इन्होंने इसका जिम्मा सौंपा सत्यमेव जयते हुए आई एक्सपर्ट श्री श्रीनिवासन को जोधपुर के अधिकारी नागरिक सफाई कर्मचारी और नौजवान सभी इस मुहिम में शामिल हुए शहर की काया पलट करने की समय सीमा की गई अठारह महीने और काउंटडाउन शुरू हुआ 15 अगस्त 2014 को दोस्तों देश का हर शहर जोधपुर को देखेगा और कहेगा हमें भी वही करना है जो जोधपुर ने किया अगर जनता चाहे और हम चाहे तो क्यों नहीं हम भी एक कैरिस जैसी सिटी अपन के पार्टनर बन सकती है और कचरा मुक्त एक देश हो सकता है हमारे साथ चले और देखिए कि कैसे इस शहर में एक देश उस कचरा भी सड़क पर नहीं मिलेगा एक साल के बाद लगता है रोमांटिक गाना शूट करने स्विट्जरलैंड और पेरिस में जोधपुर जाना मुमकिन सो दिस प्रोजेक्ट वी ट्राइड थ्री मंथ इट वेंट व्हेन इलेक्शन केम और प्रोजेक्ट स्टार्ट बिकॉज इलेक्शन रिजल्ट इज उल्टा थ्री मंथ्स एटीन प्रोजेक्ट लॉन्च्ड थ्री मंथ्स एटीन प्रोजेक्ट लॉन्च्ड एंड ऑफ द रिजल्ट इज टोटली ऑपोजिट पार्टी केम अक्टूबर ट्वेंटी द होल प्रोजेक्ट इज in a coma stage you now so we don't know whether the coma stage will be recovered or will can go back but now we got a great opportunity to work in a municipal corporation called ambikapur that is in chatisgarh eight and a half hours taxi drive if you do inside the forest finally we can go to the ambikapur which is a very beautiful place and uh, 30000 families are living and 1. Uh, 12500 commercial shops are there so last march first we started this campaign and now it's going coming october 2nd we will going to release the first municipal corporation going to be achieve this and that's going to be the model for the entire nation and the people will know how the garbage problem can be addressed it is not the mistake of officials the problem is they don't know how to handle this what type of methods are there nobody knows that simply they know the concept of dumping or uh, uh, dumping or burning or maybe landfill site these are the only concept they have that's the major problem so i think i can Stop here for questions. Because we saw a lot of biodegradable uh, garbage since the problem was solved, and that is really, really great. How do you do with non-biodegradable uh, waste or garbage? Yeah. Uh, whenever we collect the inorganic material, first uh, we'll segregate into like this. Actually. Uh, This is SLRM center functioning in a, here. It, it, we bring all the inorganic material. It's all inorganic material. Whatever it comes, it goes to the segregation place. We segregate all paper in put in one container. All papers. Then all plastic covers one single container. All plastic items single container. All metal in single container. Like that, we keep 17 container around us. That's called secondary segregation. Once it is segregated, whatever it collected from the people, like this, like this, we collect it. This material will be segregated into 17 categories. Once it is segregated to 17, all paper container will be just go to next room and just dump in one corner where the experts are sitting. They know how to segregate the paper into 15 categories. Paper alone 15 categories. And again, if you throw the cardboard into other compartment, there is other experts. They know how to segregate the cardboard into nine categories. The same thing, plastic into 48 category, plastic cover into 38 category, metal into 20 category. Plastic, uh, sorry, uh, glass bottles into 122 categories, and uh, metal into 20 category, rubber into three categories. All things all together, 156 category will come. So all will go to Indian recycling industries. There's a hub base in Bangalore. Oh, so there are buyers for all these. Yes, kind of it is there. 
one single place if you want to sell everything that is in bangalore to mysore there is an area called nayanthalli that is the best place best trade you will get karnataka kerala andhra tamil nadu all people all uh, local people they will pack it and take bulk to nayanthalli from there if they sell everything will be disposed from there most of things come to delhi and from there it is again is going for recycling industry so all recyclable 158 category can be recycled 52 category go for uh, compostable firewood or it will be eaten by cattle and uh, 122 bottles will go for recycling industry if you want otherwise now we very few bottles only going for industry only 15 type of items called garbage only 15 items which is called uh, aluminum coated cover or thermocoils styrofoams tablet cover with plastic mounting and aluminum coating sticker paper then uh, bubble gum uh, then what other things carbon paper like that we got 15 item this 15 item production itself if you stop and convert into recyclable material or compostable material why we need landfill site why we need to dump it in a dumping site why we should people should burn it okay that's right thank you your your solution is brilliant and by now everybody should have jumped on it you only got one or two invites so there's got to be something holding it up in any major social change you have to get the government first and more in this case the municipality has to say yes you have to get somebody to invest in the moving vehicles etc some capital is required but there is income so they should be returned and the citizens you said in one hour you can convert Right, unless those three factors are there, it's not going to happen. Yeah. Am I correct so far? Yeah. Is, is this difficult? No. The issue is uh, two things we are facing. One is already there is a lot of money in the government, but they misusing the money in different way, like uh, spending the money for big big metal dumper to again carry this. Again, they purchasing a lot of lorries. Again, there is a maintenance expenditure. Again, the drivers expenditure, and again. The And the corrosion and the damage for the dustbins. All these things are extra expenditure they're creating again and again. And once you dump the garbage in the roadside, it attracts all the animals. And also, this garbage flowing everywhere and blocking the drainages. Again, the mosquito breeding because of the water stagnation. Again, they put the chemical water on the top, sprinkling the chemicals to control the flies to avoid the mal malaria and other diseases. Like that chain reaction, they're spending the money in negative way, not in the positive way. You show the right way to do it. Right? Yeah. So unless there's some vested interest in buying big equipment, there's some kickbacks or something, they should go this way. Yeah. So what is stopping them from going this way? That's why. That's why we created this model now. This is an uh, IAS officer, as a district collector, taken the interest and uh, she is doing it. And you can see this is a place called Chhattisgarh, in one state, and she is from the district. And uh, this is called Ambikapur Municipal Corporation, and she is the district collector. Official level now coming forward. One district administration coming forward to solve the garbage problem in the eco-friendly method, whatever we told. So the district collector is the key. Yes. That's your key. Yes. So now they see the meeting. Sunday evening, five o'clock. If people are coming, means just you understand the seriousness of the issue. And the people assembled. They started thinking, planning. The people, because we are converting this project is a people model. No more garbage uh, going to be the government model. Government need not to come and solve the garbage problem. People can solve the garbage problem by themselves because the district collector will change every three hours, three years, or two years. The municipality will, the commissioner will can transfer, and the political system will can change every five years. But people are there only. They are the people generating garbage. They only should change themselves so that we involve themselves to solve the problem, and they themselves can run this project. All jobless people, below poverty line family, low income group. Unemployed. Everybody can join together. They can solve the problem. So now you can see these are the local people, below poverty line people. They all come and attend the training program. This is an awareness program. We are telling them what is the meaning of garbage, what is the meaning of resource. Once you separate and show the difference between the waste and resource, everybody is ready to come and work in this. If you go and tell the people, I am going to run the garbage project. Anybody is ready to come and work? Nobody will come because nobody will like the garbage. Because once you create the awareness and tell what is the difference between the garbage and resource. And the site has been identified, and the training has been done. Our dumping site has been visited, and the, my, finally, 1,024 people signed for the training. 1,024 people want to join in this job. No, and it's just inertia. It's just inertia. People just don't know. You're saying that this, that you're optimistic. You're saying it can be done. It just uh, it's it's not that there's a an objection to it. Yep. It's just inertia. What you're saying. Yeah. So once it has been done, can see that. All the tools now. 
those who are called citizen, no, nobody hate the garbage. Now, after the end of the five days, they are all ready to come and touch. The first step they are coming and touching in the first practical session. It's all dry leaf. They are putting their hands into the cow dung water, they dip all the dry leaf and made the first compost bed. They got the confidence level built. Now they are ready to work with this full time. And they are going for the medical checkup. They are all keeping the medical records. Pakka. Every four, four years, four, uh, four months, the regular medical checkup will go. Certificate distribution is done. Now, 123 people are managing the project. 123 people ready for managing the whole project. They are all degree holders, master degree, plus two, tenth. They are going to manage the project. Less than tenth, 500 people are there to work. Now we need 831 people will get permanent lifetime job here in this project from 30,000 families. So it's all going to be the city level project. I have a quick question. So in your talk, uh, you basically said that uh, excess food from, like, say, marriages or restaurants or mess halls, you use that to feed animals and stuff. Have you done any analysis where that food could be used to feed other humans, uh, say? You know, actually, even the marriage hall, them? that's what I'm saying. We, actually, the success story of our Willow model is only one thing. I don't want to fight with the, all enemies together. I mean, uh, all type of garbage together. There's a different, different type of garbage there. Like food, food, food item, restaurant, saloon, tailor shop, uh, chicken stall, mechanical shops. All these people are different, different enemies. If you go all together, they all will be throwing out. Like I will show you if you are interested in one small video clip. I always believe the nature. So I just follow the nature. So whenever you follow the nature, at a time you attack one enemy. So it's easy to handle them. The same way, if you handle, at least now you've got the list of garbage. What are the garbage will come in the society? Just see each and every garbage alone, fight with them, find the solution and finish it and then go to second. Like that, if you find the solution for everything, it's all become one one project packages. They will take their ownership and they will run the whole project. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there is one thousand corporate uh, hospital and medical waste uh, in Delhi. Actually, initially I came for this project. As I told you before, this is my this is not my subject. My subject is Vellore Hill Restoration Project. That's how I was introduced to aid also. I need organic material to apply on the rock sheets of the Vellore Mountains. That's why I asked the people to donate the garbage so we can compost it. We convert we can convert it into compost. So that's how I entered in the field. And there's one professor called Dr. Sultan Agamid Ismail from Chennai. He's a very famous person uh, in uh, vermi composting. So he only first time he told me that uh, if you mix uh, cow dung water. Uh, cow dung in the water and sprinkle any uh, sprinkle on any of the organic material will get decomposed. So I believed that, and based on that I entered without knowing anything. Once I got into that project with the help of UNICEF fund, I, I was I was being forced to do the report end of the six month because I got 2.5 lakh rupees from the UNICEF to prove that. Then in six month I have to stick with the garbage. That time only I come to know all this garbage problem. Then from that day onwards to till day like 23 years has gone with the garbage now. So now we got the solution for 95%. So uh, in medical waste, whenever the hospital generating medical waste, 80% is municipal waste only. Only less than 20% is the medical waste. The problem in the hospital is they're mixing the medical waste along with the municipal waste. And uh, they're just creating the huge volume and say it's a medical waste. It's not all medical waste. For example, CMC, Christine Medical College Hospital, where we are handling 20 tons right now. 250 ladies are working. Initially, we started with eight tons. Now it's a uh, 20 tons, 250 ladies working full time from morning to evening, handling only the 80 percent garbage, which is called municipal waste, which is coming in the black color bag. Normally, a hospital use for, for four color coding: yellow bag, pink bag, uh, yellow, pink, uh, yellow, uh, uh, blue, and uh, black. Black is only medical waste, uh, municipal waste. Only we will collect the black bag. The remaining three bags will go for uh, incineration or other purpose. That even in a cooperative model where the waste uh, pickers are collecting the waste and segregating it. I mean, the, at least in the case of Swatch, and you might know, yeah, the, I know that, yeah. the municipality has created a lot of problems. They don't give them enough space to segregate the waste. Their uh, payments, their salaries are not paid regularly. And in fact, if the government or the municipality even restricts the user fees that they are able to collect. So, yeah. In other words, like you can form a cooperator, but you still are dealing with the infrastructure of governance, which is, you know, which has to be worked through to be able to make it sustainable, right? Yeah. How are you dealing with it in Valor and 
See here in a simple thing here, I, I'll tell you with this uh, Ambika code itself. Uh, here, what we did is these people joined together. We convert them into federation. You can see all these people who completed training, 600 people, 623 people divide into 10, 10 people. And they can, each and every file is holding their 10 bio data. That means self, 10 self-help group ladies join together. They form the self-help group. That is called Lotus Women Self-help group, Lily Women Self-help group, Rose, Rose Women Self-help group like that. Uh, we got 60 through, 62 Women self-help group is formed. You can see that nearly 62 self-help groups formed. All these self-help groups join together, they become federation. Now the federation is the topmost priority because they are the local people. They are the people ready to handle the garbage. That means no tender, no contract, no uh, no corruption. People are ready to come and solve the garbage problem along with the municipality. Then how can the people be involved in corruption? How people going to take it? No, it's not that. I think even in the case of Swatch, there is a federation, right? But the municipality restricts them to charge a certain, like it lowers the user fee. It tells them that you can't charge more than 30 rupees per month as a user fee, yeah. which is not sustainable. Yeah. And they can't charge more than that. So yeah. it becomes an unsustainable model, which then propagates the use of other models, which includes dumping sites and landfills and all other things, or incineration, which has become a new business. So here, what we tell is no more dumping site. And we are giving very clear cut idea to the government saying that we need this much of space. This infrastructure called uh, immovable property, the building should be done by you. All the tricycle, other things, the society through the loan or some sponsor, we are ready to purchase. And the end of this uh, garbage collection is not the municipality job. Whatever the money you allotted for the municipality's waste disposal, you give to the Federation. That money should go to the Federation. Federation will go in turn. If you want, you can go for two rupees, three rupees, four rupees concept to door to door collection, garbage collection fees. They can make the project sustainable. The final thing is we don't want to give any garbage to municipality. That means one particular stage, it's a movement of people movement. Tomorrow, commissioner may try and transfer, new commissioner will come. He's totally zero in garbage. He does not do anything about garbage. How can he run the project? How can he understand the project? So the people who are living there, they should take the ownership. Immobile property compulsory should be provided by the government, including the land and building. Tricycle, if possible, they can give so that garbage problem will be totally solved as per the municipal solid waste management rules, handling rules 2000 says 2003, 2003, 31st December, all municipalities should solve the garbage problem. This is a Supreme Court rule. But what happened? Last 12 years, nothing has come because Supreme Court does not know how to handle the garbage. Supreme Court, uh, Supreme Court does not know the real model, how to solve this problem. Everybody's struggling. Everybody's seeing the garbage in different, different shape, different, different angles. They're not coming in the, inside the garbage. They're standing outside and watching the garbage. If you come inside only, you know the core problem. Now, once this model comes out, definitely it's going to be the model for the entire nation. See that uh, the officials are not uh, know, uh, ready to do that because they don't know the proper route, how to go. But if this particular official, IAS officer, district collector, proves that if it is uh, possible, then the same strategy will be followed by everybody. There, we don't want big, big dumper. We don't want dumper lorries, dumper plays lorries. We don't want dumping site. We don't want to spend big, big uh, chain dozer to dump the garbage and throw it on the boundaries. So a lot of money is going waste. That all money can be pulled into this project and uh, the project can be successfully done with the help of local people. So it will definitely improve. So just in connection with this, so the whole employment generated, so all the people working for this project, the salaries will be taken care of by this federation. Federation going to get the payment for three rupees or two rupees from the people per day. Right. That's one thing. Right. Recyclable sales of recyclable. Second thing, compostable sales. So also third. Responsibility is restricted only to giving land or the facility. Yes. No, no responsibility of people's salary or nothing like that. It's, it, it's called federation. Right. Uh, right now, the municipal corporation is spending some several lakhs right. for contractors right. to just collect the garbage and dump outside. That contract money now can be given to the federation. Yeah. Whatever the money. So that money bulk it will come to federation. So, sir, Whatever the shortage is there, everybody join together. We can say, okay, we can ask three rupees per family per day. That means morning and evening, two times collection. Correct. That means three rupees if it's allowed, then that become a baila. And you can pass the message, message to all the people saying that, okay, three rupees you pay to the federation, not to the government. Mm -hmm. That means two times garbage collection will be done. No roadside dustbin, no roadside dogs. Dirty things will be there. The roads looks very clean and beautiful. No disease will be there. No water blockage in the drainages. All issues can be solved. So this message you have to pass to the people. Right. Plus, Some one more thing we are telling to the people. Some political will at the, at the beginning to pass on the basic government expenditure to the federation. 
uh, when that is done, then the federation is capable of taking care of everything. Yeah. yeah, that's why we need at least one government. That, 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 board, that's right? the reason yeah. uh, we, we go with the uh, gov uh, uh, political will. You can see the building is ready. And then uh, building inauguration is uh, ready. The workers are ready. See here, the MLA is sitting. Yeah. MLA, local MP, opposition party leader, all political people. And they are coming together to support this project. They should come because it's a people movement. If they're not participating, in the people movement they won't get the vote they need people to support that means they have to come to support the people once they come our own people our own people they can con con uh, conducting a cultural program they are telling about the sanitation to these people this is a sanitation because they got the training now they know what is the meaning of sanitation they're converting that uh, sanitation issue into cultural program and showing them and these people welcoming them say so federation leaders are welcoming them and then See the people are waiting for the official to come and inaugurate their building. Now people are have the solution and people are ready to work with the garbage and they are ready to inaugurate the building. They are all waiting for the official to come and inaugurate. Officials and political people came and finally see the MLAs and the officials come and they are coming and inaugurating the people project. So definitely we can do the political thing. We can take the political will and definitely we can do this. A couple more questions. So, yeah, so mine is very related to the economics of this. Uh, so what figures are we talking about with respect to the district in Chinese uh, What is the annual budget that they allocated to See, uh, uh, this is the project less uh, four four year old project right now it is. What we are doing is uh, it's uh, altogether five crore rupees, including the tricycle, building construction, dustbin, tools, workers training, uniform, all like that. In that uh, we are able to mobilize at least less than three crore. The, with the help of different different schemes and uh, different different uh, local uh, donor and now two crore rupees a shortage that's how that's the reason i came to us to discuss about this and try to mobilize that tricycle dustbin because uh, each and every ward we got 48 ward ward councillor they got the ward development fund they are ready to give one lakh rupees for the dustbin so that means 70 lakh rupees altogether dustbin cost all 48 wards we get 48 lakh rupees dustbin so shortage is 30 30 30 lakh rupees where we need to get it from outside because otherwise you could not give the dustbin for all the people so like that there will be shortage of other things whatever is possible from the government side we are able to mobilize whatever is not possible wherever the rules is not allowing us to spend money there we can get the external thing once you showcase the whole border and tell okay this is the model 30,000 30, families these are the things required these are the things comes out and once you showcase this now whole government system can be changed they say okay we can spend money for this and stop spending money for the dumper dumper places and other other issues so definitely after this project many changes we can see in india can it be done without government any of it uh, can it be done without government it is uh, tough because you have, you have to depend the land from the government to do this government got enough land municipal corporation town panchayat nagar panchayat or village panchayat the land is available is land? first thing Land is the very, very base. Without land, you cannot do any infrastructure. The first thing. Second thing, we are depending the people to do, do this collection and all. That means we need a, uh, sanitary inspectors to give notice to these people who are not doing it properly. If the people are not segregating properly, if people are burning the garbage, if people are throwing the garbage into the drainage, who will act? Sanitary inspector got the rule. An MHO, municipal health officer, got the rule. They can give the notice to them and it can go even to the court and the court can punish these people. For that issue notice and all, we need depending the government department. And then if if uh, people if government is collecting the tax from the people, in that tax the garbage collection fees also there. That means we have to depend the government to allot that uh, garbage collection fees to federation. Again, we have to depend the government for this. So we have to go along with the government parallel line. Okay. So I think maybe last question. Um, so what are the problems that uh, have been happening in India as the increased consumption? Uh, use and throw products. A lot of the uh, products that were reusable or unique, the uh, number of products that uh, we would use was very low, but now it has increased to you know, water being sold in bottles, uh, more packaged snacks, uh, plastic bags for groceries, uh, things that you were traditionally never having to resort to, we are now using, copying perhaps what is happening in the US. Um, how do you plan? Do you have any? Uh, plans to address uh, the root source of that problem. 
See, that is the, the version. Generation. That is the version is going to come by 2017. Whatever I am talking right now in front of you is a solid and liquid resource management. Uh, maybe by 2017 it will be released before garbage generating. We know the problem. For example, the wedding. Uh, my wedding is eco-friendly wedding. 2005 I conducted the wedding without garbage generation. That means we planned well. Like that hotel we have, we can plan very well. So wherever there is a garbage is generating. We know very clearly what type of garbage will come, how much volume will come, when it will come. All these things we know very well. So that means once you plan it advance, saying that okay, this type of garbage should be uh, avoided in the generation time itself. That going to be the next version. Because now if you go and tell, nobody will understand this. So we have to finish this uh, uh, SLRM. Then we can show the volume. See, this is the volume you have generated from the hotel industry. Why can't you cut short all these things? This is the method you have to follow now. Otherwise, you take all this problem. You have to uh, no, give the uh, solution. For example, uh, if the collector office, district collector rate, and the data entry operator, our operation, operation side time, and the telephone department, they are all generating several kilometer length of carbon papers. You know that uh, no, uh, the computer sheet with the uh, five layer. First is a uh, paper, then carbon paper, then paper, carbon paper, and paper. That means three printout you will get at a time. But you will get three printout at the time, same time, three, two layer of carbon paper is going to come out. It's going to come out. Nobody is going to handle that. Same way, the same one single paper you give and give the command three printout. That means same same uh, printout will be comes in the three paper. Same item is going to. That means why the carbon paper is required there. So we have to change that system. For that, each and every garbage we have to address separately and tell this all to be changed. For that, pollution control board should come forward. Central pollution control board. We got CPCB and state pollution control board. Each and every state pollution control board should get the power and they should stop this production. Then automatically it will be stopped, but not now. Immediately it is not possible. Okay. So I think with that, we'll stick around for some more time so you can come up and talk to him. And, and uh, finally, I'd like to finish it uh, yeah. with uh, yes. thing, the thing, how this is functioning. SLRM. SLRM is nothing but it is uh, built up the stage by stage for the last 23 years. Whenever we face the problem, we never see it as a problem. It's a raw material for other people. That's how this uh, solid and liquid resource management is uh, designed. Uh, now you can see solid and liquid resource management is the main concept. For that, we need uh, 10 facilities. Like in the house, we got a bedroom, toilet, bathroom, puja room, hall, like that. For the SLRM center, for handling the garbage, we require all these 10 facilities. Without that, you never address the garbage. So this is the first step. First is a resource recovery through the tricycle. Secondary segregation, whatever it bring, it will be segregated. And cattle shed, whatever the cattle eatable item, will be eaten by the cattle there. Treasury segregation, liquid resource management, SLR, drying unit, biogas plant, vermi gas production center, composting. These are the basic facility required in a SLR center. Once it is ready, whatever you bring inside, it can be solved. Like for example, say resource collection. Once it is done, it goes to secondary segregation. From there, all segregation is done. All cattle eatable item goes to cattle shed. All fresh paper plastic goes to further segregation in the treasury segregation. Then all the wet item goes to drying unit. All the perished item or uh, we can say uh, food waste or uh, carbohydrate material will go to biogas plant directly mix with the powder. All the perished item, which is uh, uh, we call it as a uh, uh, cattle non eatable item, directly go to compost bay. That means whatever we collect from the people, it is uh, from the door to door collection, you go on to secondary segregation, that will be segregated. All material will be separated into five different categories and just sent out. All these five items are the raw material for that unit. For this building, it's a problem. The problem is shifted to other people as a raw material. Once all fresh vegetable gone to the cattle as a raw material, cattle finish it and dung is coming out. Dung is the problem for the cattle. The problem is again shifted to biogas plant. For the biogas plant, the dung is the raw material. So that means here the problems have been sharing from one place to other place as a raw material. So now you can see the cattle dung is shifted to four places. Then from the biogas plant, the dung is coming out, which, which can go for five different places. Again, from the vermicast, it goes to treasury, drying unit to treasury, liquid resource management to composting, composting treasury. Then the whole thing is managed by the people. So all, all activities managed by the self-help group, women self-help group. They are the workers and they are the owners. No owner separately from, uh, we, don't, we are not depending on a German company or a Singapore company to come and handle our garbage. Our own people can handle it. They are the, own, they are the workers. And resource collection means this is the resource collection. It's not just going and cleaning the roadside dustbin. It's not a garbage collection. Door to door, collect it, process it scientifically. And secondary segregation. 
secondary segregation is wet all the kitchen item will be segregated into 20 items and then it will go for recycling industry all the dry item will be segregated into seven category 17 category food item will be segregated into eight categories then cattle shed what are the process we are going to do in the cattle shed pressure segregation here the income generation will be more vermi gas production center biogas plant drying unit all these things to be dried before it is disposed and uh, liquid resource management whatever the wastewater is coming it will be processed this is the management category self help groups administration composted and finally outcome of this whole project is every 300 family in urban six people will get permanent job in rural four people will get permanent job whatever people generate whatever item it will be collected directly from the doorsteps and processed in the slrm center it's not going to the dumping site or water bodies and polluting that means no environmental uh, pollution there and totally economical growth each and every family whatever the money they uh, garbage they throwing we are converting into 3 rupees that means bangalore garbage value is 27 crore per month minimum maximum 100 crore we can recover from bangalore like that if you just calculate all over the india all over the cities if you calculate we can know the value of india garbage per month it's a huge money is there in the outcome job opportunity is there environmental protection is there economical growth is there where is the dumping site where is the landfill site where is the pollution where is the garbage burning there that means we we are going in the wrong route without knowing that we are just here keep on continuing the wrong route but here this is a way we can handle it and convert into sustainable model win win situation every day thank you thank you that's happening at Ambikapur now. The corporation has come forward. It is going to be set up, but there's still need for funds. Uh, the government is not supporting the entire project financially. So if you or if you know of someone who's able to contribute any small amount, you know, one one of those vehicles or, you know, salary for 10 of those people or for the garbage collection, if there's anything that you would like to do or contribute, please let us know and we can let you know how we can go about that. And we're going to be around for a little while. Feel free to have some snacks and talk to Ushay. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, um, one is just idle. Do you know my friend, why do you know him? Do you know my friend, Dr. Vlasi Anna, founded a school of waste management in the United States? I'm sorry. This should be a part of the fact I would like to hear about you. He's a dear friend. Yes. Yes. Maybe it was even better. Yeah. He's an old man now. He's not going to because he has the energy you have. Yes, it's important. But uh, wonderful. This is the uh, great. The Lord Srini, the Gmail, the Central Network, like in the body. I you can send it by email so that I can send you a email. Oh, there'll be question is, well, I will ask you. Okay. 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 Okay.